one. So, hey, everyone. Welcome back to our next edition of the Song of the Wilds. Yay. Yeah. It sounds so enthusiastic. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> yeah. So originally, so today is my cousin's birthday. So I thought I was going to be celebrating with her. It turns out she's just going out to dinner with her family. So instead, me and McLean decided to bike ride for like an hour and something. And then also go grocery shopping. And then also do some workouts at home. So like, I am so tired. <laughs> also, I've been at work since seven, so I get that. That's totally fair. To top that all off, my cat, like the big fat cat that I have, decided to wake me up about three times between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. because he ran out of food to eat. So he, <laughs> was, he literally was attacking like a, a badass. <laughs> me. He was attacking a poster. A poster. Why are you attacking a poster? I don't know. To annoy the crap out of me yeah, until I get out of bed. Well, I, in, I know the feeling. <laughs> well, in any case, for, for everyone joining us here, thank you so much for joining us on this lovely stream for episode 16. Oh, guys. We're doing, it's episode 20. Wait, say that again? I said, what are we going to do when we reach episode 20? Oh, God. What? What are we going to do when we hit episode 20? <laughs> Give away when we hit episode 20, so stay tuned. Okay, we will find that out. And something is tickling the inside of my ear. Oh, I hate that. Um, so yeah, let's just knock the announcements out of the way. Um, does anyone have any announcements? <laughs> yes, Kira. I do technically. So... After, uh, <laughs> of course it does. So after the lovely gift that Carly or I got, Carly, I was told that I got was getting something, and uh, this, this right here, almost made me cry. <laughs> oh, I'm happy that you like them. It was one of those where it's oh, like, what is it? it's like I thought it was gonna be the, like a little flax, and like, no, it's gonna. Be and then no, it turns out this. So um, yeah. All right, Watcher Lack is now hosting us. There we go. Oh, yes. Wonder who he is. I'll bet he's a handsome man. <laughs> we have new art in our Red Bubble shop. Uh, we have Davina is now added both the Fallen and the Protector. Um, and we are going to be adding uh, Adarax. I, I don't know which way I'm pointing. I'm pointing towards Adarax this way, but I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to be actually doing. Since yes. This one. Well, on our own, yes. <laughs> so Adarax is going to be added uh, tomorrow. Mistral will be added on Tuesday. And I have a secret one I've been working on that I'm keeping a secret until it comes out. Um, you guys can make guesses if you want. But <laughs> that's all I have to say. So also, last note, we're going to have an Etsy shop open at its September 1st. Links are going to be posted on the Instagram in the in the links. I, I created a, a link tree for it. Yes, you did, so, and it was very helpful. I appreciate keep that. Keep an eye on that. We will post the uh, announcement, the official announcement. We may have like a pre- like thing i don't know i'm figuring things out anyways etsy shop a lot of really really cool and custom stuff specifically for song of the wild plus other like you know cool bookmarks if you guys are readers or pins whatever um but yeah that's the end of my announcements thank you if he's been working really hard on it so thank you is we love you i'm way too obsessed with it but i love it <laughs> thank you. i've created an obsession i never thought it'd come this far yeah. I mean, I, so, no, um, I've told exactly. you numerous times that I watch the campaign after we play it to make sure that I didn't miss any fucking I've scenes. tried. I hate I'm listening to that. my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I watched the first couple episodes, but I've got 
stuff to do so it's kind of hard to sit down and just relive a thing that I, mean, I, I do too but i like am obsessive and i comb <sighs> through stuff to make sure i don't miss any like honestly it's not a bad idea because i mean it does give you pointers of like well this is what i should be doing and what i shouldn't be doing so i totally get it um not to be a party pooper but what did i just do by hosting because i'm going to my channel and i'm not seeing stream i <laughs> If you host, you yourself are streaming the campaign. So it's streaming on two channels right now. So that you get twice as many viewers. Oh, no. Okay. From my list. So you're basically boosting it by showing it to more Speed people. Books. Because you get your followers to watch it and Evan gets his followers to watch it. Okay. I get that. But how come when I go to my channel, it's not popping up? I do not know, but yeah. I can check for you. Okay. I have it playing on my phone. Yeah, let me actually try and do that myself as well. Let me try on also, mobile. I wanted to apologize in advance if I'm a little lack energy. I've been up since 5 a.m. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <up. laughs> I, I might be a little low energy too, but okay. Do I have to go live? Is that it? I, don't know. I, I honestly would not be able to tell you. I I'm on your player right now, and I see ourselves. So oh, not, really? So you I'm, can see it? Yeah. Well, I'm doing it on my phone here. I'm I'm not sure why you can't see it, but I can see us per perfectly fine. So it worked. That, I mean, that's all I care about. I don't care if I can see it. So. All right. Well, Liam is hosting us. Izzy is going balls to the walls with our merchandise and such. Um, merchandise. Merchandise. <laughs> Song of the Wild, the, wild the flame two. thrower. <laughs> Song of the Wild two. The search for more. Ad the search for more Adorax. I don't know why I thought Ad it was just funny. <laughs> I can be addictive. <laughs> Song of the Wild, nice. the lunchbox. <laughs> Can I, wait, Izzy, can you make that into a shirt? Son of the Wild Two with a search for oh, more Adorax. I, I wish that, I would wear this I shit out I wish of I had a stuffed <laughs> animal. I shit out of that. I wish I had a stuffed animal because then I could squeeze it and it could go, it's no 26. <laughs> Just a just a just a big plushy fluffy Volthric. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to see a sneak peek of one of the a one to one scale full trick. Yes, yeah. One. Oh. Uh, so, way too many of these, uh, because I just wanted a lot of them to randomly put places anyways. But uh, Ooh, careful. I have little buttons. Oh, oh. Little How about them? Oh, adorable. Hey, look, my son. My son. Cute, love him. They're huge. Like, they're bigger than my eye. They look like the other mother from uh, Coraline. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> One of my dream cosplays. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm your other mother, sweetheart. How about <laughs> no? How about no? How about a hard pass? How about that? Are you crazy gutch bastard? Um, I hated that book when I was a kid. Anyway. Who's watching? Hello, friendship. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth is oh. watching. My Elizabeth. <laughs> you get away, Carly. You have your own Elizabeth. I have mine. He's my boo. Um, does anyone else have any other little announcements before we get started? I don't. Not really. I got more merch. Technically, it's not here, but I got the, um, I got the, uh, a notebook of me for myself and my mom. And I got the stickers. Narcissist. Uh, yep, Polo, and, uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yes, you are. Yeah. Yes, pretty much that, but uh eden so, and then i got uh ariel's as the sticker and i'm gonna put them on the the spiral i gotta get i gotta get every character and i gotta figure out something to do with them I haven't um, figured out what yet though so the official song of the song wild of scrapbook the wild. yes oh god i used to scrapbook all the time when i was younger I made, 
I make like a, a collector's edition of just a scrapbook of all the adventures so far. You you create a shiny version of our characters, and you and for every ten normal ones, you make one shiny. Yes. All right. Is are there any other announcements from anyone? I'm excited to reach eleven. And I, maybe. <laughs> I'm excited to reach 11th level in Monk, so that way I get D8 hit, hit, uh, D8 damage for my punches and hammer. I'm just interested oh, to see yeah. when you have when you have planned for Polo's story, Evan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so am I. <laughs> oh, alrighty. So, if there are no other announcements, let us continue with episode 16. My God, 16 episodes of Song of the Wild. Oh, what are you going to say when we get to like 100? If we... You know what? Let's get to 20 first. <laughs> yeah, yeah let, let's, let's get to the... I mean, we only just got to the second character's backstory, so... Yeah, let's get let's get to episode Have seventeen to before we get to. <laughs> Carly, okay. hold your horses. <laughs> anyway, here you go. Freaking love this music. Where we last left off, our intrepid group of hunter warriors, known as. D. <laughs> um, they actually had a very nice time having a nice little day off from all of the fights and murder and backstabbing family members who are who are horrible people, honestly. So they decided to take this time to help out Polo a ha have a very successful date uh, with Anne Marie, the receptionist of the Greyblade headquarters. The date itself actually seemed to go by very well, while at the same time some people were kind of off doing their own thing. Uh, Davina finally learned the extent of how much finances she has in the bank. Um, and that's just in the bank. Who knows how much she has in, like, company assets and everything. It could be, like, even more. Meanwhile, during this date, everyone seemed to catch sight of a very mysterious figure who was keeping eyes on Polo and Anne-Marie. Through some quick, shitty thinking, they were able to subdue the culprit. But before they had a chance to question him, he was swiftly assassinated by a shadowy figure on the rooftops. After that, they decided it would be best to just return back to base, bringing the dead body with them and try to figure out who it is, where they, where he came from, blah, blah, blah. We learned that his name was Jacabo, and he actually used to be an old associate of Polo back during his uh, mafia thug days before he actually started doing time. However, when the next day arrived, they realized that Anne-Marie had, had suddenly gone missing. And, and during the commotion, a voice sounded behind Polo before it vanished. Green Eye says hello. And that's where we leave off. So, you are now back in the lobby of the Greyblades headquarters. Everyone else is still trying to figure out where Anne-Marie is. Polo, you are the only one who heard that voice, but you turn around and no one is there. Uh, can I start with a history check? You can certainly do that. Okay. And it's worth a shot. <laughs> that would be a 22. <sighs> All right. Or is this the new dice? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see you work your fireballs. Yeah. All right. Polo, you feel a chill go down your spine. Green Eye was a fellow mafia enforcer just like you. He was not he was not part of any family. He was just another hired gun just like you at the time. However, Green Eye was known to be just absolutely ruthless. Like some people would just execute people if they got in the mafia's way. He 
would not only execute them, but make an example of them. We're talking... We're talking the D&D medieval version of the Colombian necktie this guy would do. Ooh. 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 While, uh, while also skinning them, cutting off all the first digits of their fingers. Um, and, a, and a various other quite a few things that this guy was notorious for. Although, ever, ever since you went to prison and you were there for, I think we decided, like, five years. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, Green Eye himself has basically just fallen off the face of the planet. So, ever since then, this is the first time you've ever heard that name uttered. But the moment you heard that name, everything kind of flashed back to you about just how absolutely sadistic this guy is. And if he indeed was able to get his hands on Anne Marie. This just went from this just went from 6 to 11 right now. This one goes to 11. Oh. <laughs> it goes upwards and downwards. Um so I was next to Yip, right? Uh you were you were next to Yip. Yes. However, okay. whoever whispered that in your ear did it so that only you would hear it. So that, that I, I get that. that. That wasn't why I was asking that. I was just trying to figure out what my next move was. So. Uh, that That's entirely up to you. Right now, the commotion is still going on in the lobby of people trying to figure out where Anne-Marie is. Um, everyone else in Group D is part of that commotion as well. You just kind of lagged outside yeah. of the group, and then that's when you had the message whispered. Got it. Okay, so my next move is I turn to Yip, and I say, we have to get the rest of the group together. Right now. Right now! Uh, but Oh, oh, okay. And so, do I have to roll to get them all together? No, you can just walk up to them and tell them. Okay, so... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Before I can talk to you, I need to see if I can talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to roll if I'm cool. I need to pass the vibe check. Pass the yeah. vibe check. Can you vibe with us right now? You, you did so not cool. pass the vibe check. Uh, <laughs> show me sure what you I got. Know. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, so I guess I gather everyone if I can, if I find them. Uh, yeah, it's very easy to find them. They're they're okay. part of the commotion, but they're kind of like on the outside of the group, so you can easily like pull them aside. Okay. Um, so yeah, I take everyone and I basically them and I say, we have to talk to Volfric right now. All right. Okay. Uh, so I guess is we Volthric had... also part of the commotion, or no? Volthric is like, well, you, well, he's not here. You can ask where he might All right. be. All right. Uh, is the receptionist, whoever it is, is are they working right now? Or... Uh, yes, that blue tabaxi who typically takes the night shift is now filling in for the day shift for right, Henry. Cause... Right. Yeah. Can I see what color his eyes are? <laughs> nah, you, gonna, you can certainly now. try. <laughs> who who all has green eyes? We're gonna kill everybody who has green eyes. Josh DeHuman is now hosting us. We have two hey! hosts. Hey! We have officially two sugar daddies. Uh, Boy, I ain't got money. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> you got a on. No. Um, all right, uh, so I go up to the, the receptionist and I tell him, where is Wolfric? I need to know right now. Uh, the blue tabaxi kind of takes note that you are definitely distressed, and he just goes like, oh, he has returned to his main office up in the upper floors. Without hesitation, I turn around and head straight up. Okay, you basically split from the party, just going away from everyone. I follow. You can follow if they want. <laughs> okay. Follow, 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 follow. Yeah, I'm following Polo. What's this gonna be, dude? Kindly after you. I guess we're all following. I mean, we kind of have to. Sure. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hang on. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Because I want to. I want to show you what I see. All right. I I'm gonna close this in I am a lady of the court. It's true. <laughs> I'm ready to roll. And by the way, I want to say a special hello to Slever233. Thanks for stop. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by our stream, dude. 
Okay, so Polo, you're just you're just beelining it straight to Volthric's main office in the upper floors, and I'm assuming everyone else is following. Yeah, I'll follow. Oh, mm -hmm. all righty. So everyone, everyone climbs the the many flights of stairs. You're um, I'm not going to give you a point of exhaustion for climbing all those stairs, but you definitely are a little. <laughs> I mean, I'm I, just flying. Hey, up there. I got adrenaline going right now. Okay, I'm yeah. not feeling anything. Yeah, Polo. You gotta right... get his lady love. Yeah, Polo right now is too high on on adrenaline my, to feel anything. My wife who got taken and my, my fucking my wife pillow. is back Somebody in my life. Touched my money pillow. You you take my wife who I take your life who. Um, <laughs> I, I am I am I am naming that the official motto of today's episode. You yeah. take my waifu, I take your laifu. I, I said that in a stream uh, with Retro Crush. Like they're the, they're the anime they're the retro anime streaming site, and they love that. They um, really did. Can I just take a moment to appreciate that Izzy's face was like <laughs> like a big eyes, just like. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you uh, are. So you are. Sorry. No, you first this time. I was gonna say I just bang on Volfric's door and I'm like, Volfric, sir, I need you to let me in right now. Uh, the door, the doors definitely do open, and you are all let in the very nice looking golden ivory office of Volfric. He is. He's not sitting at his desk. He looked like he was kind of walking around his desk, looking at papers before he kind of magicked the doors open for you. And he's like, huh. I was wondering when I might see you, but then he notices Polo's distraught look and goes like, Polostris, what happened? I know who G GE is. Well, don't leave us all in suspense. When I was, what I was doing before I was doing this, there was a man by the name of Green Eyes who was something of a rival of mine. Uh, not, not Green Eyes, Green Eye, singular. Green Eye, oh, sorry. Uh, there was a man known as Green Eye. He was a bit of a rival of mine. Green, and... Green Eye. <laughs> Volthric then... Volthric, despite his size, briskly walks to the other side of the desk and he, like, pulls open a huge drawer and he's kind of looking over various papers and such. And he actually pulls out one file. Let's, Shit. Let's see. Green Eye. Puts the file puts the file on the desk and it kind of the papers kind of come out of the folder for a moment and you can actually see a small picture of what looks like and it's not a color picture this is all just on brown and tan parchment it's medieval times here um, you see a picture of what looks like a very muscular looking tiger tabaxi with a scar over his eye and what looks like a jewel inside his eye socket where his eye should be. Is it green? <laughs> well, you can't tell. The picture's not in color. Oh. I, I assume it's green. Uh, yes. Uh, Polo, you, you recognize this picture, like, perfectly. This is the definitely the green eye that you remember. Um, you know for a fact that he... That you have no idea what his real name is. You're not even sure if he even has a real name anymore. Everyone just seems to call him Green Eye. And his real name is Robert. <laughs> his real name is his... Steven. His real name is Carl. His real name is Carl Green Eye. Hi, Carl. <laughs> Approved. My name is Carl. Are you craving my croissants? Anyway. <laughs> so. Des despite the despite oh, the obvious like despite the obvious like now you have a face to the name the file itself on green eye is surprisingly sparse with details and such well that's helpful Volthric sits down at his desk he he looks a little ashamed and he goes i know that this isn't exactly a good starting point but whoever Whoever this green eye is, or however you may know of him, he's been keeping a very, very low profile over the past few years. What I can't what I can tell you, and then he actually pulls out another piece of parchment beneath 
the one with green ice picture on it. <laughs> and it looks like a charcoal drawing of a tavern. Um, and you know that, and it says on the sign of the picture that this tavern is called the Moon Goddess. I like Vol Volthric leans back in his chair and he goes, I know that some very old associates of Green Eye like to go frequent this tavern in Lunas. So you might have a shot of learning where he might be or where he has been if you go there. All right. That's where we're headed. All right. You take the lead. Mm -hmm. All right. So I guess we have to... I, I just feel like Polo is uh, the definition of an uh, unstoppable force. So we've got to see if we meet an immovable object or not. You're working for the immu for the immovable object. I, I turn to Volfric, um one last time and I say, one more thing, sir. I think he has Anne-Marie. His eyes kind of widen a moment. And he goes... Then you mustn't hesitate. Then, Anne Marie, yes, Anne Marie, is very much loved by our hunter community. If anything were to happen to her, it's not going to go over well, to say the least. No. And at Anne and Marie's at, best girl. And at that moment, Volthric then kind of leans down to Polo, to all of you as well. Green Eye. I've dealt with him a couple times in the past as well. Not as much as you have, but I can already tell he's a very dangerous fellow. If he puts you in a situation where he's dangling the life of Anne-Marie in front of you, try to figure out some way to deal with him. If it ensures her survival, even if you have to make a deal with this guy, if it means the least amount of bloodshed, I give you permission. Fine. Understood. But when the deed is finally done and Anne-Marie is safe, report back to me immediately, and we'll figure out our next move if by some chance Green Eye hasn't already been dealt with. What type of deal, sir? Well, that's up to between you and Green Eye. What if he has to be protected by the Grey Blades? Is that something that you're willing to do? We, the Grey Blades. And what if he asks for have, immunity? We, the Grey Blades, have definitely done our share of less than less legal than things. Than legal if things. it meant to, if, if it, it meant, meant ensuring the survival ensuring of our survival civilization. Of then it is something that I would do with no regrets. That being said, though, if you find an opportunity to get out of there with Anne-Marie and your lives, do not hesitate to take it. Yes, sir. So I guess we're heading to Old Joe. Old Joe! Go see... <laughs> Go see the requisitions first, just in case. I think they might have something you might need. All right. So I guess we got to see the requisition then. Okay. All right. So for the Found sake of so for the sake of time, you all leave Volthric's office, and now you're back in the normal floors of Greyblade's headquarters, and you recognize that requisitions, which is the Greyblade's own little shop where you can get either free things uh, after you get permission or deals on things. Um, you rec you recognize the requisitions as being run by this um, by this one elf. He work he works right next to the registration desk where people would turn in their quests either to be assigned to them or turn them in for money. Okay. So I, 
I guess we approach and and inquire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you see before you, um, a lone elf who seems to be managing, like, various boxes full of things. Uh, he turns to you and goes like, Oh! Ah, I was told to expect you. Give me just a moment. I already have your things prepared. He kind of shuffles under his table a moment, and he gives you each, um, a potion. This potion is kind of neon green with some, with, with, it looks like it's got some glitter in there as well. Uh, the elf, the elf kind of nods to you as he gives each of you a potion. And he says, this is a potion of snake tongue. If you drink this potion and then for the duration of about an hour, you might find yourself to be just a little bit more convincing to some people. Master Volthrix said that these might be useful with considering who you might be dealing with. He did not say who you're dealing with, but that these might be needed. Fair enough. You said it was called Snake Tongue? Yeah, Potion of Snake Tongue. Does it give us advantage on persuasion? Not advantage. It does not give you advantage on persuasion. It's going to give you an extra plus three to any charisma checks. Nice. Yes, Carly. Nice. Is it essentially Felix Felicis from Harry Potter? Yes. I figured. Although, although, think of this as like diet. Felix Felicious, because if you had actual Felix Felicious, that would have given you like plus three to all of your stats. This is purely just for this is purely just for charisma. Okay, sorry. Stop being sorry. You're doing great. <laughs> now do we head to Old Joe? Now you can head to Old Joe. Okay. Old Joe. Uh, right. So for the sake of time, we're going to say... I like we went there because he knows it's going to be crucial to the plot. <laughs> yeah, you see, I've set up this game basically like Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, Ak <laughs> Akron is, is Gruntilda's uh, tower. And each of the zones that you go to are all the different Yo. worlds. We, have... we, we get to Green Eye and he's just like... <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, I'm Kazooie. I'm Kazooie, aren't I? Yeah. Yes, I'm Kazooie. You're, you're, Ka you're Kazooie on steroids. Anywho, anywho, back on topic, back on topic. So for the sake of time, you all make it back to old Joe, who is lying down on the ground. Oh, great, he's drunk. Um, <laughs> oh, Joe, you got Joe? Uh, is someone gonna try and uh, see what's going on I with kinda, it? I kind of go up oh. and tap him on the shoulder, like, oh, Joe, are you okay? Wait, is that a high school reason thing? I was gonna say, I'll do a medicine check or something. That's a good idea! Okay, Adarax, give me a medicine check. This <laughs> Slever 2 through 3 just says, just kick him! <laughs> No, I do extra damage on kids. I can't do that. I'm going to literally kill him. Okay, uh, he has a pulse. Okay. He's alive at least. Oh, Joe, is he high? Uh, so I, I think I know what I must do. Hold on, can I? Oh, no. I now know what I must do. Can I make a, uh, a rooster call with, my, with performance check? Can I make a performance check for a rooster call? Do it. <laughs> That's a 19 modified 20. All right. It's one of those it's one of those 20s. All right. You you let out a very convincing rooster call in the style of the Lost Boys of Peter Pan. As as you do as you do, Old Joe shoots awake with a scream, and he, like, takes his hand, and he points something at you. 
Um, oh. yep. I need you to make an athletics saving throw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, athletics. No. Uh, okay, I have, I have plus two in that. Okay. Can I get 11. an advantage by pulling him out of the way? Yes. I'm sorry. Go yes. Ahead. No. Okay. Yeah, I love that idea. Yep. Roll with advantage. Okay. <laughs> Eleven. Roll again. You have advantage. No. No. no I got a. I got a four the second time. Okay. Um. She's able to just barely pull you out of the way, right up until you hear a bang, and you see a smoking musket in Old Joe's hand that was aimed right where your shoulder was, you've lost a couple feathers in your left wing. <laughs> and you basically made all your Percy from Critical Role. He's like Clint Eastwood. Yeah, old Joe's just like, <laughs> Oh, it's you guys! <laughs> Why can we help you guys out? You, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just, there was some weird bird waking me up. Did any of you guys see Why where that was? Why were you lying on the ground? What, I was taking a I, nap. Can we ask him this later, please? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yep turns to Davina and is like, am, am I weird? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not weird. <laughs> We're all we, a little weird. We I'll need to get to Lunas right now, as fast as you can get us there. Lunas? All right, then. Not a problem. I made some upgrades to the ship. Look at you. All right, so for the sake of time, you I put tachyon thrusters on the back. <laughs> when this airship hates 88 miles an hour. <laughs> You're going to see some serious shit. Um, <laughs> uh, you all... <laughs> <laughs> Slever two through three goes engage light speed. <laughs> no, we must go at ludicrous speed. <laughs> you all, you all, oh my god, you all get onto the ship. Um, and without hesitation, he's already in the slightly now bigger cockpit. Now that he's kind of renovated it a bit, uh, he's bigger cock, nice. Is it <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Um, and you guys are now lifting off into the air, and you do notice that the ship is going actually a little bit faster. It's probably only going to take you now like an hour getting to Lunas at this speed. Guys, look at us. We've upgraded in life. <laughs> um, that being said, though, you guys still have an hour before you get there. Do you guys want to have any little interactions before you arrive? Uh, I mean, I guess I'd like to prep with the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole time is just having an existential crisis of, am, am I weird? <laughs> am I really that weird? <laughs> uh, okay, Yip, I would like you to make a wisdom check. <laughs> oh, funny. I am weird! <laughs> that one. Oh, no. <laughs> Yip, you... Begin to have a panic attack because you are not quite sure if you are not weird or or you are. Can I can I give him one of my CBD gummies? <laughs> oh, right. it's been a while since we had one of those. Uh, yep, do you... gummy gummy bear. He doesn't question whether or not it's a CBD gummy or not. He's just like, thanks for the gummy bear. All right, uh, Yip. Singular gummy bear. Yip, I need you to make a constitution check. There we go. <laughs> okay, cons plus what, 16. All right, you, your, your heart rate starts to slow down and you just feel like nice and loose and, <laughs> and, and now your mind has gone from, am I weird? To fuck everyone if they think I'm weird. I'm me. I did say yeah. that I think everybody on our team is weird in some way. I mean, yeah. if, you're, if you're normal, you're weird, and if you're weird, you're normal. So, like, it's just a big circle. Meanwhile, at this time, Axel has popped out of Eden's bag, and he is now 
trotting over to Mistral, sniffing the CBD gummies that she has. No, 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 no,
Maybe I could use a deception uh, check here. Uh, well, what are you going to try and say to him? I know. I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, I guess I could say something to the effect of... Wait. Uh, we've been asked to check to see if there's any... Um, we've been asked to see if there's any more child slaves, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna say that we're here to see child slaves. Time. Wait, hold on. Davina, what did you say? I was gonna say that we could just tell him that we're here to see an old friend. I guess we could do that. Um, all right. Uh, Polo, go ahead and give me a deception check with advantage because Steve, <laughs> because Steven trusts you. Okay. Also, uh, also, dear, fault. also, dear Lord, what is your, what is, how, how big is your dice? It sounds like you're slamming a hammer on your table. Well, my mic is not right near it, so oh, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, so that first one hey, is nice dice. an eighteen. Oh, well, okay. Uh, and that one is a ten, so eighteen. Dizzy hey, Quinn is now nice following dice. us. Hi, Dizzy. Hey. All right, so uh, the good news is that Stephen Lang officially trusts your word. And he just goes like, well, don't let me keep you then. All right, so I guess we follow the direction to the to the moon god. Moving right along. <laughs> all right, so you all make it to... You all decided to... Uh, you head uptown. You follow the road. Um, as you do, you see your standard group of, like, high-class citizens just kind of walking down the road with you or against you. Well, when I say against you, I mean opposite you, sorry. Um, thank you, Izzy. So, and you, and you get your standard, like, weird looks, because you're all, like, grizzled, dirty hunters, and these are all, like, a bunch of Jeff Bezos and Elon Musks walking down the street with you or opposite Goddamn you. Goddamn one percenters. Yeah, goddamn probably, one percenters. We probably should have gotten some high fashion. I should, probably should have worn what I wore on the date. That probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Goddamn one percenters. Oh, uh, not you, Davina. To make us fit in. Gary's is in, Gary's in Acheron. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was in Lunas. No, Never he's in, he's in okay. Acheron. I mean, there's other fashion shops here. Do we do we still but have they're not Gary. But they're not Gary. Do we still have the clothes we bought? Uh, yes. I mean, okay. Only you that. No, you, you guys bought stuff from Gary, didn't you? you got a coat. Or you I got a cape you? that exploded. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, Davina, you got like no, a nice a gown for the party where the no, monster. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. No, no I didn't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, you made Gary cape. make me a gown, and I when I asked for a cape, so I got a gown. Yeah. Uh, then what was Davina? Yeah, she asked for a cape, and you gave her a gown, and then we rewound, and she got a cape. Okay. Polo's the only one that got a suit. Both me and Mistral got capes. Okay. My cape exploded, though, when I turned into a fallen Asimar. All right, well, we can still work with this. It exploded. And I kind of bring everyone back. Into... What? What is Arius wearing? I mean, I have the money. He has a leather vest. Okay, that probably wouldn't work for high society, would it? I mean, I have the money. We can't just get new clothes. All right. Let's, let's try to blend in, you guys. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> ATX2181AI1 says, what are you, a communist? <laughs> what? I hope. And, and we, we are sure this time that Davina has her money, right? Yes, I got a checkbook. Yes. Okay. Shopping. All right, so you guys head um, up the road, and before you hit to the Moon's Goddess, you do pass by quite a few clothing shops. Uh, some some are unisex, some are men, some are women. Uh, okay. 
Well, Davina, you've got the money. I guess you should take the lead for this. Where do you guys want to go? I mean... Hemington oh, says, Davina the sugar it. mama strikes again. <laughs> I would say the two people who have lived in high society should know what shops are good. The rest well, of us... Do I know of a good shop? Because you said I've been here quite a bit. You have. Uh, Davina, give me a history check. And I will give you advantage if you can start talking like Sugar Mama from the Proud Family. Oh, I God. Jeez. <laughs> got 21. No, no. Slever233 says, Davina, instead of buying the items, buy the places the items are sold at. <laughs> just, uh, just, I already own four buildings that I inherited. No, thank you. You own five. <laughs> We're not playing Monopoly. So. <laughs> but Carly, you own five, not but four. Like you, you can let them okay. still run their own business, but just take like a little, like a little, like five percent. Be able yeah. to get whatever you want out of the store. I'm okay. It's all good. <laughs> a, it reminds me of that scene in Batman Begins where he's like, "The thing is, I'm buying this place, and I'm setting new rules for the for the fountain." <laughs> so. Uh, and I do apologize, Davina. What did you roll for your history check? 21. 21. All right. You know not only the great places to check, which are actually just a block away from you. You know what they have, what sales they have, who runs them, all of their workers, all of their birthdays. Because you would go to this place, you would go to these places a lot whenever you needed new clothes back during your um, other life. <laughs> your other life which we which at the time you thought was great but it turns out it kind of wasn't i was manipulated <laughs> um, we had a better time being dead slever 233 now follows us hey dude yeah all right so davina you lead them first to the closest shop which is... I might buy Keely's pink dress. Sorry, in a moment. <laughs> Do it. So, yeah, the first place that you go to is strictly women's fashion. And this is run by... Um, You see this... Okay. You see a woman <laughs> behind the desk, and she's, like, reading a magazine. And she looks at you... Her eyes just kind of... She recognizes you? She does not recognize you, no. But she does recognize your posture. Right. Like, she, like, oh, I see that you are of the same social class as I am. <laughs> what all does she I know? see you are of... <laughs> yeah, that's so different, Mr. Bond, you and I. <laughs> um, the woman... The woman just kind of looks at you all with sharp eyes before she slowly closes the giant book and she goes... How may I help all of you? Uh, how may I help you? We're looking for some nice clothes for a party that we're going to later. Oh, and where might this party be? None of your you know, one of the... <laughs> Oh, Miss where, where, where is this party? Can I can't uh, I, I jump in. I jump in and I base... Uh, well, damn it. What was the name of the guy? The guy who we uh, were hired by. Smart, smart, smart. Let me go through. Notes, Davina. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Davina, Axe <laughs> Warrior. And... No taking power. Axe Warrior, Sugar Mama, and Walking Library. And, and Stenographer. <laughs> and Stenographer. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to introduce a magical item, which is basically going to be one of those phonetic keyboards. Yeah. <laughs> Also, just kind of doing a bit of research, I feel so bad for Warlocks. They get four spell slots a day. I mean, given they actually recover them on a short rest, but I mean, still, four spell slots. What is this world coming to? What is this world coming to? I'm only having four spell The economy is in shambles. Warlocks only get four spell slots a day. You're telling me. What are we going to do? Jeez, I'm trying to remember now. What uh, did I have named? Well, no, Mom. I don't... 
Okay. Well, Jared to, Edmonds. To answer my mom in the chat, I don't think anybody would because she transformed. Yeah, Nobody yeah, would. no one recognizes Davina because she's not a fallen Asimar anymore. You said Lord, Lord Edmonds? I about that. Uh, Baron Edmonds. Yeah. Baron Edmonds. Okay. Baron Edmonds. The Black Adder. Um, <laughs> uh, so, I, I just ca ca casually intervene and I say, uh, we are invited to a party, a small little soiree get-together for a Baron Edmund. Ah, Baron Edmund. I hear he's, I've heard he had a spot of trouble recently, but it's go so good that he still has friends to be with him. Uh, she walks out from behind the desk, but it's not like walking, more like slithers. And you see from the waist down, she has a snake you body. Tea? Oh, never mind. You want tea? She's a you want tea. Yes. Uh, no, I do not. Thank you. <laughs> what? Is her name <laughs> I get it. <laughs> These are questions I need to know, Evan. <laughs> is her name Mia? You know what? Yeah, her name is Mia. <laughs> Anybody oh. that gets that reference in the chat, you become the MVP. He's a gold star. You're the real MVP. Uh, Elizabeth says in all caps, Madam Noodle. <laughs> that is her. that is a close second. So Mia, the Yuanti, uh, just kind of like slithers over for a moment, and she like towers over all of you. And she, how would she have the same posture as Davina? <laughs> She's half snake. I bet you get the hugs. <laughs> <laughs> She's just that good. Uh, she kind of, she kind of looks over. She she grabs Mistral and Vina, and she just kind of looks. She kind of looks over the two of you, takes a small string, holds up to your arms, your head, your neck, your legs, and then she quickly puts the string away. She takes her hands, and her fingers are slightly longer than normal human hands, and she's like gently. That's not creepy. You give the Feel, best hugs. She's gently feeling your <laughs> shoulders and your arms. And she and then she goes, hmm, I think I might know of something you all could definitely try. And then she quickly slithers That's away. All? To Even the boys? Are the boys going to be wearing dresses too? <laughs> I want Ariel's to wear a dress. <laughs> I think Arius would look great in a dress. Uh, Mia later comes back with what looks like a gorgeous looking, like these two dresses are styled the same. They're like, they're like slightly slim slinky dresses with like, with like a side slit for like one leg to come out. A jazz slit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, and she gives the black one to Davina and the red one to Mistral. You're enjoying this a little too much, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, did you know seamstressing is totally my fetish? <laughs> <laughs> Neat. Noted. Well, not for that in my campaign. Because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> There's just going to be a day when we all are going to be doing a campaign like normal and Carly just comes on dressed as Davina. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I will. No. I have plan on oh, it. Yeah. I think it's official. Carly, you are the Sam Regal of the group. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I should have this much power. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so she hands you the two dresses and she goes, you don't even need to try them on. I know they fit. <laughs> and she goes like, Is there a place for us to change them? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And she just kind of waves her hand behind her and there's like a couple fitting rooms. Ow. Mistral, shall we? Sure. <laughs> so is Arnest going in a dress you or not? everything about this, don't you? <laughs> Arios, do you want to try a dress? I, I want a scene where some burly, sleazy guy hits on Arios because he thinks Arios. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wait a minute! Hold on! 
Are we reenacting the scene called Final Fantasy VII where Cloud wears a dress? Because I am oh God! Come here, baby. Give me some swag. <laughs> you come to Giuseppe's. Good choice. <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having flashbacks to when we did the reading of the comic, Evan. That comic is still going on. Nice. They nice. they're at the part where they just got the black materia. We we should uh, we should read that sometimes. Sniper, that's what it is. Anywho, Arios, are yeah, you doing? I want Arios to go to Mia and just kind of like feel cute and just kind of like tongue on her for a little bit and then say, "Excuse me, do you have anything in more of a turtleneck and a long sleeve?" I think I would look up. Pretty good on me. <laughs> and a wig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mia. <laughs> Mia lowers herself down to your level, and she just kind of gives you a... in a virgin killer. Oh, God. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> uh, Ar Mia looks at Arios for a moment, and then she slowly smiles. I have something. And then she extends her body from to, like, a top shelf, where she pulls what looks like a Pride and Prejudice Victorian style gown that actually does modestly cover the neck. It's one of those gowns. And the arms. <laughs> and the arms. Like the only Arias, thing. I think that's gonna look stunning on you. Huh. Thanks. <laughs> uh, she hands you the dress. Like you are more than welcome to try it on yourself. Thank you. Marcos <laughs> just kind of goes in the back and whips into it really quick, actually, surprisingly rather fast, and then comes up. How do I look? And just kind of spins around. <laughs> oh, the 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 dress part like fluffs up when you when you twirl. <laughs> Arios, you're gonna be the prettiest princess. <laughs> Yip just kind of goes, me oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at this time, Davina no, and Misha... Doesn't, doesn't Arios have to roll a deception check? I'm just... <laughs> Performance. <laughs> well, it's, Thank you. It's not going to work on you guys because you know it's Arios. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, at this Who time... Who are you and what have you done with Arios? <laughs> <laughs> me, me... Me. Meanwhile, at this time, Mistral and Davina, you walk out... And you both look like you are just ready for a night on the town and cocktails. This will we match! <laughs> <laughs> One of us is gonna have to love that. <laughs> Alright, so then, with, uh, with that done, Mia returns back to the desk and she goes, So I assume the dresses are to your liking? Oh, very much so. How much do I owe you? Let's see. For these two dresses and that one, doo -doo -doo, that would come to 157 gold. Oh, okay. No problem. Um, <laughs> Would you be okay with me writing you a check? Oh, absolutely. And then I'll come collect it later. It's a good thing checks exist in this world. <laughs> What? I'm not gonna carry. How much was it? <laughs> Ton of gold. A lot. <laughs> Do you take cash or card? A hundred and twenty-six billion. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not gonna carry that on my person. Are you crazy? <laughs> Slever two three three goes that little. You might as well add the store to that shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I write I write a check for it and I hand it over to her. Uh, she graciously she gracefully takes it and gives you a little bow. She looks at it for a moment and her eyes kind of wide seeing the name Balmaris on it. And she goes like, Oh, my sincere apologies. I did not know who you were. Well it was a oh, no, great it's perfectly fine. It was a great pleasure serving you. So online and I'll be sure to give I'll be sure to um what was I gonna say? <laughs> I'll be sure to um. You were going to send recommend anybody else that needs a beautiful dress your way. 
<laughs> I'm Davina, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> also, Mia sounds like Frieza. <laughs> you filthy, <laughs> you yeah, filthy I'm monkey. <laughs> Uh, anywho, so you now successfully have even more formal wear. You have you now have even more formal wear added to your inventory. Oh. <laughs> now for the boys. Now for the boys. Oh, no. I, I thought it was Sunday, not Saturday, because Saturday for the boys. <laughs> Saturdays are made for dads. <laughs> <laughs> and dad's car <laughs> I will give you advantage to whoever knows where that came from I don't I, I actually don't I want to say American dad older like what 90s the... king of the hill Adventure, bro? No. younger audience I have no idea. younger, younger audience, audience. Older. oh okay. but like like Rock really has run for something? Around that generation. I know I said we I should... No. And I know we said we were going to oh. cut down on the casual chat, but... Oh, sorry. No, this is no. important, damn it! But this is important for me. I've never been I, I know I've heard that, and it's bothering me that I don't know it. Would it be like okay. Dexter's Lab? Yes! Ah. Oh. Wow. Okay, that was a shot in the dark. Uh, but... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was a shot in the man dark. Get a little more dirty. But yes, uh, Polo, you will get advantage on your next roll because you successfully guessed the show. Yes. Go, Polo. <laughs> wow. Go Polo. I guess I need it tonight, but you know. So, you then head next door, which is uh, frankly all male wear this time. And you see... You're going to like the way you look. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> hey! De definitely, it's men's warehouse. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's men's warehouse. And you see a and you see a drow behind a desk in a very nice looking like white button up and a black tuxedo vest. And he has like slicked black, slicked back white hair. <laughs> And he and he is right now like taking measurements on a piece of cloth and goes like, "Oh, and how may oh, I, no. and how may I help all of you today?" <laughs> Curly face is like you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fetish. This is my fetish. <laughs> the is already like. I it. like a nice suited man. I'm so, and especially if it's a drow. I mean, hi. <laughs> Are you going to hit on the drow? Because I would love to see this. Davina, are you going to hit on the drow? <laughs> no, I have. I might. I might. <laughs> she go she is a single woman now. She can do what the hell she wants. She can <laughs> with money. I cast guidance on Davina. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a drow? I have to look this up. I don't know what a drow is. A drow is another race of elfkin. Who okay, are, yeah, who they're are, like dark elves. I get they're, it. Yeah, they're, they're basically elves dark elves. They no, they are not. Elves. They are not moon elves. That's a that is completely they're edgy different. elves. They're the. Oh, I didn't know moon elf was an entire race. I just oh, moon, I moon can you play the drow? Yeah, moon okay. moon elves they're... are a sub race of normal elf. No drow, name for the <laughs> drow. Prim primarily live in underground cavern cities, and they have jet black skin and white hair, okay. and. Back in the day, before D and D decided to, decided to make all of the races neutral by default, Drow were inherently evil because they were basically evil elves, and they all worshipped Luth, the goddess of spiders. Can I just say that Liz is like same Carly, same. <laughs> <laughs> so ba basically, we're getting tailored by a dark elf, Patrick Bateman. Yeah. <laughs> You're hey. just making this better for Davina. <laughs> so, oh, Carly, our um men in the group would like um new suits for a party that we're going to this evening, and I figured that since you look so good in your suit, <laughs> she's just been it in there. Like you would, you would be a most help. The drow. 
The women are actually, so aggressive in this campaign. Jeez. The, <laughs> the drow gives you a egg. small smirk, and then he walks out from behind the desk with his spider body below the waist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the, I mean, hey, the bait I'm is still doing it. Not yet, it. me. <laughs> so yeah, this guy is not a drow. He's a drider, and driders are drow with, with that are basically spider centaurs. <laughs> it's a drow and a spider. It's a drier. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on. I I'm going to first. I'm gonna have Yip uh, make a wisdom save. Yeah, uh, he's having another panic attack. <laughs> oh no, he's hot! <laughs> no, it, it's less of that, and it's more. Oh god, not more spiders. Not again, not again. Not, not oh, right. Can our girls like beautiful legs? Yep, she's just like, please excuse me, and bolts out the door. <laughs> Uh, the Dryder fellow just kind of looks out the door a little worried, goes like, oh, dear, is he all right? He's <laughs> fine. He's perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> child. Hashtag, hashtag get DeVita Dryder. <laughs> <laughs> Ride the Dryder. Ride the Dryder. <laughs> the Dryder Rider. DeVita the Dryder Rider. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, the Dryder now actually looks to all of the males in the group. Polo, Eden, Atarax. Uh, Yip is gone. Gone. Well, we'll figure out we'll, what to do with the part we'll later. Buy Yip a suit. Well, we'll buy him a suit. The Dryder then kind of looks at the men, takes measurements and such. Um, for the men, though, it's going to be a lot easier because men are typ typically just wear tuxes. Although there are certain different styles of tuxes. Uh, Polo, uh, so Polo you actually have the option of foregoing a new suit because you still have the one you got for your date with Anne-Marie. Well, if you're offering, I'll take another suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm I'm gonna look good for the damsel in distress. <laughs> you want to treat me to something else, I guess. <laughs> Um, he takes measurements and he and he gives you all various different uh, tuxes. For for Atarax, your tux is definitely cut a lot more loose to take into account your bigger build because you are a dragonborn, and yours actually has coattails with it, as well as as well as holes in the back to take into account your wings and your tail. Uh, Polo. Your suit, your new suit, actually looks very much like the one that you already got. You don't have coattails. Yours seems a little bit more rugged looking, where you have a nice black jacket and a white top. However, yours doesn't come with a bow tie or anything. Yours is kind of meant to be a little unbuttoned close to the top. I'm sure that man can be <laughs> gotta make you look good for when we save your girl. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta go look good for the damsel in distress. Okay, Yip, and it uh -huh. is your job that when you do rescue Anne Marie, you need to be out of sight, flapping your wings at Polo to make it look like the wind <laughs> in his hair. No wait, does anybody have uh, thaumaturgy or prestidigitation? Because we can just the use that. The two yeah. teammates. Yes, they can just use those and yeah. like, boom, wind. Lovely, lovely lady Arya. All right. Um, Arya, do you want a suit as well? You already got a dress. And I, I'm willing to buy you a suit. Aww. So then for Eden, Eden, you actually have the most standard looking tuxedo. Yours actually looks like a tuxedo. Bow tie, nice and buttoned up. Do you look like... <laughs> You, you got the like uh to basic to basically summarize, Polo's got the rugged Fabio look. Uh Atarax looks like an Is that orca a bird? <laughs> Atarax <Look it> up. <laughs> Atarax looks like an orchestra conductor. And Eden's got the whole James Bond Casino Royale look going. Oh, 
okay, never mind. I go up to what did what did he say his name was? Uh, Mike. <laughs> is he magic? Well, well done, Mr. DM. Magic. Well done. <laughs> is Mike magic? How does he do it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> is he magic, Mike? The se- the secret is to have full confidence even in your dumb answers. <laughs> yeah. I-, I go up to him and I say, excuse me, Mike. Do you have anything that would be good for, say, a monk Arakakwa? A monk Arakakwa? And then he goes over to a whole other side of the store. And these these outfits don't really necessarily look like tuxes, but they look like... I can't really remember what the outfit is named, but... but And I'm speaking to class, not Yip. You would know it. But, like, what is the kind of formal wear that Ip Man would wear? Like, the very long black oh, yeah. robe. I know what you're talking about, yeah. No, not a D, I guess, but... I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that that's what he's offering. That. <laughs> that, yeah, that. We're going to call it a that. Uh, that. So. Yip uh, has a that now. Yep. Yeah, con- yeah. Yep. conductor, Fabio, James Bond, that. Let this. <laughs> Perfect. Let this group D go in peace. Um, so he. I'll take uh, that one to go. Very to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can I get a yeah. uh, tuxedo? <laughs> <laughs> can I get a uh, <laughs> no Man, this is this is a men's wear. This is a men's designer company. <laughs> can I get a? Uh... <laughs> oh Chicken my! Tenders. Sweet and sour. Carly, no. <laughs> I know how that bit goes. I know Dane Cook. <laughs> uh, Polo, you are like muted. I cannot hear you. you oh my god, my... I found the perfect thing. I'm gonna post it in Yip's channel. Hold up, let me actually pull up Discord. Yeah, I know, I you know, I know I said yeah. in the Discord we need to cut casual chat to a minimum, but honestly, I'm having fun with you guys. <laughs> It makes it more fun if we can chat a little bit. Oh, man, you know? they're gone. All right, everyone, you know the rules. If someone disconnects, F in the chat. F the chat. <laughs> that was actually a deliberate one. Okay, cool. I'm seeing the green. All right, All right. I put it. Oh, jeez, everyone is pressing F. <laughs> what, uh, what, I was, what I was going to say was, you, you said he's dressed like Ip Man, right? Yeah. Whatever. How did we not make the joke of Yip Man? No, that, that's that's who I based it off of. Whatever that's like entirely who I based it off of. You based it off of Ip Man? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't uh, realize but that. I found, I found the perfect thing. I put it in Yip's chat. Yes, everybody needs to go look at the chat. It looks stunning. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know there's F, 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 and it's a rainbow. Yes. Oh, I, ooh, oh my lord. I love that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now, the question that, is, what is it? That's called? what that is. Now, the question is, that what is, is it called? It's called the Donnie Yen look. <laughs> Just, just call it the Yip look. Just like, oh, this is the Yip. Really? What? Yeah, no, that, yeah, that's just Yip. Yip now. That's that's Very just how nice. Yip looks now. That, oh. That's Yip's look now. I like that this episode has just evolved into his talking fashion. So. Because <laughs> it's the DM's king. It is. Uh, and it was my major in college, so. It was, yeah. So it's a gi. It's called a gi. Hayden right. Hayden okay. fan just subscribed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, drop the sub. Yeah, Carly, I remember you making a whole shop. I made a whole entire store, but we're not going to get into that because that could take all day, so never mind. Yeah, but I'm I loved so- that project. Yeah. Uh, anywho, uh, so the Dryder, feeling very proud of himself. Oh, yeah, right, his name is Mike. Mike then walks over to Davina because you addressed him first. He assumes that you're the leader of the group. Um, so he. I am. He, no, I'm he, kidding. <laughs> He, uh, he scuttles over to you, and he just goes like, so, will all of this suffice? Oh, I think so. I, I look I... over, I look over, and I say, I think Davina wanted something else, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Uh, with that being said, Mike then returns back to the register, and he goes, 
normally. This many outfits would fetch a price of 260 gold. However, because you have been quite a dish today, <coughs> I, w I am willing to let you have these for just a straight 200. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Mike. <laughs> I love that name, Mike. Just the way it rolls off the tongue. <laughs> My God. You know what else can roll off the tongue? All right. <laughs> Let's cut it there. Dirty, 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 dirty. <laughs> so, with that being said, we're, I'm assuming. Oh, I, I want to see his reaction to me being a Belmar. <laughs> uh, all right. So, you write him the check for just a flat 200 gold. He looks at it. And his eyes do widen a bit. And he looks at you. Oh, oh so you're single. <laughs> he he actually does gently take your hand. And he goes, oh, I am so terribly sorry about the loss that you suffered. Oh, it was, it was terrible. It was so terrible. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> Just milk it. Meanwhile, Polo's in the background going, oh, for Oh, for Nord's sake. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was awful, it truly was, but I'm so happy I met you. And I'm so happy that you are doing well as well. And then he gently like- I'll be sure to send everyone your way. Oh, thank you so much. And then he gently like slides his hand off of yours for a moment. And you still worry, right? Looks a little too long. Looks a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> and and he and he struts that spider abdomen as he walks back to behind Fuck his yeah, desk. Great thorax. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> we're gonna you know it's 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 close to eight thirty. We're gonna take our little five ten minute break here. I think we all need a break. Yeah. Yeah. Let's <laughs> saucy. So we will uh, we will take a moment for peeing and snacks and whatnot, and uh, we will be back in like 10 minutes tops.
say, I like a nice, sharp dressed man. Everybody. Everybody? It's okay. I didn't say anything too incriminating. Everybody just knows that Carly likes a sharp dressed man now. It, it wasn't really. It wasn't it was really a secret. secret. No. And Carly, it's every girl is crazy about a sharp dressed man. They really are. Yeah. yeah. It is true. Even the non binary people are like tepid because, you know. Man in a nice clean cut suit. Mm-hmm. I do you think my favorite character in the originals is Elijah? <laughs> Suits. I mean Crowley, because he's literally the only one in a suit half the fucking time, so. Uh, <laughs> so one of my favorite spells of all time uh, is Power Word Kill. <laughs> Which is a ninth level spell, and it's just. He's my man. Flipper, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you cast the spell. Uh, he can hear us, by the way. I know. We just been uh, Power word kill. You cast the spell. If the target has a hundred or less HP, they die. That's sick. I mean, given it, it's a ninth level spell, so you're not getting into late game, and also, uh, you only have one use of it, and if they have more than 100 HP, you're shit out of luck. Oh. Uh, it's cool, because you can, you can make an amazing reference when you cast it, you can just be like, Oh my god. Maybe apparently everybody can hear us. Oh dear. No secrets anymore. <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to disable those two audio trackers in my streaming software. Also Also, I think we all know what the filler episode is gonna be after this art. Well. We just need to go shopping again? Is that what we're doing? Wait, so what did I miss? Yeah. Apparently everybody can hear us, but Liam said that he knows what the filler episode is going to be after this. Oh no, what do you think it is? Well, last one was me on a date, so obviously the next one is going to be Davina on a date with Mike. No, 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 it's going to be Davina. 
thing with Oreos. It's Oreos or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you have been having for my having for a while. And then Davina realizes Oreos all the way. Um, Oreos pulls out a magic carpet uh, out of nowhere. Oh, I like to. By the way, we be jamming on some margaritas. Party? But yeah, I will I'm not, if if given the option. I got milk and coffee. I will always take power words. Uh, with some quesadillas. I have orange juice. Hey, Evan. I'm going to take shots of straight, like, whatever at some point when I can drink again. Because we're those oh, people. Cool. Excuse me? Hey, Evan. Yeah? Evan, you want to know what my favorite, uh, you want to know what my favorite spell is? What? Power word kill. Mm. It's just you can just be like, "Maiwa, mo shinderu." Nani? Nani? <laughs> Take a good look, Lord Ass, because you're already dead. Oh. Excuse me, I'm dying. Oh, I, I love, I love, I love the Fist of the North Star movie. I mean, just I'm just putting that up. <laughs> So. Also, Evan, later I sent you a Discord. You don't have to check it now because it's it, it's like oh, that that too late. I'm already variation. there. See, oh, I see, like it now, but that's for later if you want to use that. Hold on, I have a question. See, Le oh, okay. Go ATX. How are margaritas cultural appropriation? If I got them in a store, literally run by people from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> That is like yeah, appreciation. Molded they wrote, into one. They wrote appreciation. Oh, I thought it was appropriation. I'm so sorry. Oh. I love it. Yeah, no. <laughs> womp, womp. Evan, I have to see every day. And also, Evan, I apologize for the eight page, 12 page story I sent you. I don't know if you've read it yet. Not yet. See, now, what Leah posted in the Ario chat. All the cloud stuff, it makes me wish that Mia had been more like Madam M. Because I love Madam M. <laughs> oh, um, I, Madam M. I was, think I just I found. Love Oreos in a, in a, in a dress like, I, right I spent, I unashamedly spent 3,000 gil on that woman. I loved her so much. <laughs> I, I did too. Yeah. So I think I've just found my new favorite spell. It's an eighth level spell called Feeble Mind. Um, you blast the mind of a creature you can see within range, attempting to shower their, its intellect and personality. The target takes 46 psychic damage and must make an intelligence saving throw. On a fail, the creature's intelligence and charisma scores become one. The creature can't cast spells, activate magic items, understand language, or communicate in any intelligible way. The creature can, however, identify its friends, follow them, and even protect them. At the end of every 30 days, they can attempt to redo the save. 30 days? You I'm are... Sure you greater Restoration whole... can... Yeah, no. It's ended by Greater Restoration, Heal, or Wish. But still, like, you're hit with that, and you don't have any ways to get those spells. You're just... You are just... You're done. M mentally dumb because <laughs> I don't want to use the actual word for 30 days at least because it's like oh at the end of the 30 days you fail to save again well gotta wait another 30 days and <laughs> <laughs> hold on I'm really sorry Leo what you posted accurate wait what freaking accurate <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Leah posted um basically Aerith's reaction to seeing Cloud in a dress and said Davina's face when she saw Arios in a dress, and I'm like, you're not wrong. <laughs> because if anybody knows me, they know I am Aerith. So <laughs> Especially this version of Aerith. A a bra yeah. girl. <laughs> no, especially Cloud. this version of Aerith. Seth Roth yes. descends from the sky. Cloud, permission to kill? Class, that was rude. <laughs> Sorry, uh, spoiler <laughs> alert. What spoilers? The game's been yeah. out since 97. The, the, biggest, oh, spoiler the biggest spoiler alert. in the Zelda history of video games, yeah. Spoiler alert, Sheik is Zelda. 
It's like when it's like when Martin Freeman was talking about the Hobbit Wait, with John what? Stewart, I'm and kidding. he That's talks about and he talks about how they Martin killed the Knight. dragon in the third Hobbit movie. The whole audience starts booing him, and John Stewart just goes, "Read the book." <laughs> <laughs> it's only been out for almost a century. Fantastic book. of death. Anywho, now that now that we're all here. Uh, you all got your official formal wear, so we are now jumping back into this. So, with the party newly with the party's newly acquired formal wear, with Arios uh, tossing a coin over to the girls' side to their witcher. witcher. <laughs> um. So now that you guys have your formal wear, what are you all gonna do? Well, I would like to get to the uh, moon goddess a ASAP, so. All Someone right. wants to know if the boys got handkerchiefs. I would assume so. Yeah, uh, yes, you all did. Yeah, tell us the color, well, DM. Well, Atarax and Eden did. Polo Ooh. didn't, not with his style. Right. And also not with mine. I don't yeah. think I would I don't think, with mine. Oh, right. I don't think <laughs> you can wear a handkerchief with a key. Dip his suit. Because Jip, like, ran outside. You, my, you mom, see Yip my mom says on the, the roof of the building, it. just like... Not spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? Hey man, Wait, I, thought it was, I thought it was a drow, and I was very excited about that, and then okay. Evan pulled the boot and switch. Uh, so. <laughs> he's on the roof, and he's, like, meditating. He's He's no longer having a panic attack. Do we see him, Evan? Do we see Yip on the roof? No, he's on the roof. You're all he's on saying, the ground. He's saying, I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. <laughs> Freaking Donnie Yen, man. Well, I, I don't see you, Ben. Let's just go to the Donnie. moon goddess. Yep, if you can hear me, I got you a suit. Welcome. Wherever <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are, <laughs> Donnie. Uh, yep. yep descends down. Okay, it's yep. like, okay. <sighs> All right, so you descend back to ground level and you see the very nice suit. Oh, thank you. Here you go. He takes it. Thank you. It's very kind of no you. No problem. All it's good right. that you like it. All right, so with that being said, you all now... Oh, yes, Mistral? Sorry, I was just giving a thumbs up to Adirak. Ah, okay. Uh, you all now slowly make your way over to the moon goddess. It's now like, uh, it's now like noon. So it's the height of lunchtime. So this tavern is in full buzz right there. You walk up the block a bit more and you see this very nice looking cafe with a, with a hanging sign over the door with what looks like the silhouette of a naked girl sitting on a Crescent Moon DreamWorks logo style. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> wants That's your next sticker. Your next sticker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Izzy, Izzy, that is your next sticker. Can you do that on Redbubble? <laughs> It's a silhouette. It's not an actual like. Yeah, it's okay. A it's, it's like a naked lady I on a truck. Put that yeah, on it's like that. You know, some, I, I should really be taking notes. Like somebody else should be taking notes. I, I got I'm you, reading. girl. Poor Izzy. I feel so bad. You're like, everyone gives you a suggestion of like. But I love it. it. That's well, we don't it. expect her to do it immediately. No, I, want, no, she be... I want it to be done by tonight. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I want pictures of Spider Man. Sorry. Anorex, Anorex comes first. <laughs> yeah, he needs to. I know. Anywho, so you all make it to the moon goddess, which, you know, despite the sign over the door, this is actually kind of a classy place. Uh, mm. Think about, uh, think of your nice little outdoor patio style cafe, but it's got an indoor area as well. Um, there it does seem to be someone standing at the door in what looks like a uniform. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, I turn to Davina and say, well, Lady Belmaris, would you like to take the front row? <laughs> oh, I'd be delighted. Master Garland. Um, ahem. My name is Davina Belmaris. Um. Oh, oh, Davina, oh, Miss Belmaris. Uh, I did not, we did not think we would be seeing you again after, 
after the incident. Please, right this way. I'll get you your regular table. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that train up, motherfucker. What incident? <laughs> Do you actually say that? <laughs> no. Oh, man. I say... Somebody put that in the quotes <laughs> right now. <laughs> Back this train up, motherfucker. Back it up. Beep, <laughs> I'm doing it right now. I'm coming to the close. Oh, the incident! That was terrible! What was it, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor thing. The shock must have confused your mind. Your your husband and father-in-law were brutally murdered in their own home. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> that um... Yes, I know it was it was terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, what a switch. <laughs> okay, she's definitely gonna need to do a deception check for that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I would say yes, but this guy is so like pants crappingly scared from the name Balmaris, you don't even need to. Even if he knows it's bullshit, he's still gonna say yes. I I, I, I sure hope that they catch whoever did that to them. <laughs> Terrible, terrible thing. Awful, just utterly tragic. I swear, Davina, please. I swear, Davina's becoming one of those like femme fatale women in film noir murder <laughs> mysteries. The worst one. This campaign is slowly just her turning into a villain more. And more. You you open the door to her house and she has like the slinky see through robe and she's like, oh, I know my husband died of mysterious circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> He is the ultimate Black Widow. That's basically what this is. Heck yeah! Which is why she needs to date the Drider. So there you go. I, I'm sorry for this wrong. minor interruption. Hold on. Cat. Cat. Show the kitty. Oh, I love her. Hi, Luna. The kitty. Okay. Hi, McLean. I miss you. I love the <laughs> look at her face. I miss you too. <laughs> the cat. Yay! <laughs> we need a cat break, everyone. Okay, now uh, play the story. Okay, so this guy lets you into the cafe, and he guides you all as a group. To this very nice large round table kind of in the back corner of the room very nicely uh kept and such like every place else in this in this cafe um he he snaps his fingers and a couple other waiters uh pulls out the chairs for all of you oh i would just like to say uh just because i don't think yip would have you know his backpack with him in this fancier place uh, he really just has, his, he has his, uh, meteor hammer wrapped around his, uh, like, kind of hidden in a style like, uh, Wonder Woman, that's her name, in the movie, where it's, like, kind of wrapped around him, and it's kind of, kind of hidden. Well, yeah. you know, though, you could just put it in the bag of holding. I just you thought of look. something. Oh, yeah, we do have a bag of holding. I yeah. Know. Where's, where's the backpack that's holding the orb? I put, yeah, I know. I, I was put my backpack say, in the bag. I, I know I that we have a bag holding. I know that Eden has the orb and it's probably oh, fine, fuck. but I do think they're probably. I don't know. I'm wondering if we should check on the orb. We have a backpack and the bag oh. holding. <laughs> I put my backpack in the bag of holding. It fits perfectly. <laughs> And if you ever want to try and get an item out of the bag of holding, you just need to think of the object while you put your hand in the bag, and it will just, and your hands will automatically grasp it. Mm -hmm. I am going to keep my dagger on me just so I have a weapon. Okay, yeah. Other than these hands, catch them. <laughs> I was just <laughs> <thinking>. <laughs> I said, do you want to fight me? Am I, can I keep my lock? Do you want to touch his hand? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Atarax, what'd you say? I said, can I keep my long sword at my side? But if I'm, you know, I'm just wearing the suit and the long sword. Uh, you can. You can, you look like, you look more like a bodyguard to Davina, which everyone is kind of assuming you are right now. So they're not giving you any trouble. 
Fantastic. I just feel it like it woke up and would, weird to have would, a meteor. Like, ask question. I think that would like really like compliment the outfit too. It does. You'd almost look like a prince. Yeah. <laughs> I want to yell at you for, for your character hitting on my boyfriend's character, but not really. <laughs> I mean, I I'd let him tap. I'd let him tap. Hell, I'd still hit it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know compliments was hitting on someone. Now, nobody <laughs> cares. <laughs> Anywho. Any <laughs> who? <No. laughs> um. So yeah, you're all you're all seated at this very nice looking table. Um, and of course you're all given uh complimentary waters first, but then you're also given like drink menus because this place is known more for its drinks than its physical food. So you're each given like a drink menu to order from. At this time, though. Uh, Polo, if you'll give yes. me a perception check. Alright, what the hell is my perception stuff? Aw, uh, did I close it? Ah, damn it. Hang on, give me a second. Uh, perception. Perception. Alright, here we go. Five. Oh. No, no, wait, 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 no, I did that wrong. I did that wrong, I did that wrong. Okay, uh, no, that's that's actually a 18. There we go. How did you get, wait, what did you think you did? I, I was reading the wrong side. I was reading the wrong side. I thought it was like, for some reason I thought it was the top. But, okay. Yeah. All right. At this moment, you don't really see anything out of the ordinary. You see just a lot of people just going about their day, sitting at their table. And Eric Cochran playing an accordion. <laughs> As I hear Cass's theme. Yeah, for some reason, this is on the tavern mix that I have playing on my Bluetooth. And I yeah, ain't complaining. You see this one parrot, Arakakwa, just in the corner. Just He's just vibing with the <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. Did you know that this place is totally like an Italian cafe? It's one of those places. <laughs> I was, it's run I, by I was the doing mariachi, so. but whatever. That's fine. They're, <laughs> it's run by the mafioso. Of course it is. You see, it's Italian. You see two little, like, uh... Are, is there, like... I know there's a cat race, Tabaxi. Is there, like, a dog race? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. Is there, like, lichen people or something? Is that a thing? In I mean, there yeah, are people with lichen throat. Uh, you see, you see two lichens kind of sitting in a corner, having sharing spaghetti. The man kind of rolling oh, the meatball God. to his date. <laughs> oh, this is the uh, You know, on a side note, I will say the live-action remake of Lady and the Tramp on Disney Plus is actually one of the good Wait, remakes. Wait, there is. It's I really, it's actually I really good, it's, but I'm a little bit biased because we did have a cocker spaniel and my family. So every time I see them, I like instantly start bawling my eyes. You I do. Don't, I don't see how you could make a bad Lady and the Tramp re live action remake. There's really nothing to like ruin <laughs> anyway. So, you know. Yeah, but yeah, that, that, that was actually one of the better remakes of the Disney remakes. She knows I didn't mean to. And I like the Cinderella and Jungle Book remix, just for the record. I did too. Yeah. All right, a anyway. Any anywho, anywho. Um, so yeah, however, Polo, out of the corner of your eye, you do see this one short fellow in what looks like a long coat slowly kind of shuffle his way out of a back room. And he's just kind of looking around for a moment as he's like keeping his, his coat closed. And then, <laughs> what? What? what I, is... wanted to make a, I wanted to make a joke where I was like, "Oh, I'm looking in a mirror. That's me." Oh, sorry. Anyway, uh... <laughs> hello, nine one one. There's a there's a good looking there's man in my man. house. There's a handsome man in my house. Oh wait, cancel that. It's just me. Slever two three three goes. There are dealers in your campaign. Yep. Uh. He, as this man is looking around, he actually coincidentally turns his head to look towards your table 
and he sees you, Polo. And Polo, you recognize this man. He's a dwarf fellow with a blue beard and, like, a slightly redder nose than usual. Uh, his name is Hopkins. And you know him as, like, one of the shifty errand boy fellows who used to who you used to work with in your mafia days. The moment he sees you, he just kind of freezes for a moment. Hello, Kings. And then he bolts out the door running. Uh, who's the fastest one here? Probably Yip. Yeah. Uh, y- Yip's looking at the menu right now. Ooh, Yip! Wake up. What? Well, it's too late now, and he hasn't seen him. So, I guess there's nothing we can do about that. After that door! <laughs> Follow that door! <laughs> okay, and I bolt off at, towards the towards the. But you don't know what he looks like. like. You're not gonna well, know. I assume the dwarf. I assume the dwarf that's running away from this tavern. I mean, if you want to chase the there. dwarf. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So, yep. You follow after the dwarf that you follow after Hopkins that has just ran out of the tavern. Uh, he is. He doesn't really seem to have any clear path on where he's going. He's just, like, picking a road and going down it. I'm just flying <laughs> about them, slowly catching up. <laughs> All right. Me- meanwhile, I'm telling everybody, everybody who I think I was. Can, can that be okay? Yeah. So, yeah. for the sake of plot, while Yip is chasing after this guy, Polo, you're telling everyone who Hopkins is. And Hopkins yeah. was one of the lower rank enforcers <laughs> in the Mafia days of your... Um, he, he was never really a fighter. He was more of a snitch and a runner, but he was good, but he was good at what he did, which was transporting information. Oh, that's why he's running. Um, now, Yip, I would like you to give me a, I would like you to give me a dexterity check. All right, all right, all right. That is a 14. All right. Who is everybody? The face of breath. (laughs) All right. Do you need an inhaler? No, I'm fine. Surprisingly, my breathing is like perfect. Um, Yeah, mine's gay asthma. Yeah, no, not me either. So, anyway. I sometimes forget to breathe. (laughs) Yeah. No, that's a mood. You ever have those days where you deal with a person and you notice how dumb they are and it makes you legit forget to breathe for like five seconds straight as you Every process? Every day that I go Me, to work... I'm that person. I do that to myself. <laughs> Every day that I go to work. Anyway, Yip, you rolled a 14. You tuck in your wings and you dive bomb this guy Peregrine Falcon style. And you easily... <laughs> I'm just part every bird. <laughs> I'm part pigeon, uh, migratory you bird, like eagle, falcon, bird. eagle. <laughs> uh, and you easily just crash into this guy. Um, however, because you only rolled a 14, your landing isn't quite as graceful. So you also end up on the ground with him. This guy takes a moment to like figure out just what the heck crashed into him. He turns back to you. And he tries to... Caw, bitch. (laughs) Caw, caw, motherfucker. (laughs) Uh, He's he's trying to scramble back up to his feet. Yip, I need you to roll me a strength check. All right. Instead, could I use my... Make an attack roll using my... uh, Hammer uh, to wrap around his legs? Sam, I just want to comment for one minute that your mom said at least Yip didn't poop on this dude. (laughs) (laughs) Valid, valid. Very valid. Um, Has a poop done yet? Okay, so Yip, here's what I'm going to say. Oh, wait, no. It's in the bag of holding. Never mind. er, Oh, yeah, the bag of holding's back at the cafe. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, regular strength check. 17. All right, you easily, before this guy has a chance, you give yourself one flap of your wings to get back on your feet, and you 
and you get back on top of this guy cop style and you easily like lift him back up to his feet with his wrist behind you have his the right hand. to read something. <laughs> anything you say can and will be used <laughs> Uh, Did you use that exact voice? No. <laughs> Shoot, freak, you are under arrest, dirtbag. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. By the way, Carly, you still need to watch RoboCop. I still do. I know. Uh, anywho. Oh, Hemington says, peck him, Danny. <laughs> peck him. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. So, Yip, uh, as you bring this guy back up yeah. to his feet, he's just, like, sputtering his words, like, I ain't, no I ain't done nothing! I don't know nothing! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah that's what they all say. I, I start bringing him back to uh, the moon goddess. Okay, it doesn't take you that long, because this guy did not get far. Um, he's a dwarf. They're not known Dwarves, for... Like, having, like, he's, he's having issues in the chat because I've never seen RoboCop and neither has Liam. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am I am sorry to kind of call you out like that. It just I just remembered that we need to watch that. <laughs> so, Carly, you're not alone. Oh, thank God. I didn't know this was... I work half the time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> There are parents on this stream. You watch your mouth. I don't care. You watch your fucking mouth, Kara. This is a good Christian <laughs> Minecraft server. <laughs> Excuse my potty mouth. Shut the fuck up. I the way all of my Pardon my French, stuff. You're but you're an that. asshole. You friggin' fricks. When will you learn that your actions have consequence? <laughs> Quickly okay. hides all okay. of okay. my Okay, we make it back to the moon shit. goddess. Okay, anywho. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Yip, you bring the guy back into the moon goddess. A lot of the people at their tables are wondering, like, what the fuck is that guy doing? Um, and you bring... I, him I sit him down at the table, like, in my chair where I was, and kind of stand behind him. Yeah, miraculously, your chair was right next to Polo's. And Hopkins just kind of, like, looks around, looks at Polo... Can I? Can I? P-Man! <laughs> I, I lean in and I say. I'm sorry? Davina? No, that's my bad, Liam. Go for it. Okay. I was well, going to say that I should hold him down because I'm like, probably me or Adirax are probably the strongest people in the group to make sure he doesn't move. That's or fine. Or try to run away again. I'm on bodyguard duty. <laughs> All right, so Davina and Adarax. Uh, Adarax, you stand at Hopkins' right side and you put a hand on his right shoulder. Davina, you stand at his left side and you put a hand on his left shoulder. <laughs> yep, you're standing between the two and you have your hand right on top of the guy's head. And I, I casually just lean in and go, Hopkins, you little well. What are hey you man, I, I haven't seen you in so long. How you been, buddy? I've been better. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see that. I see they got you joining the army now. Well, that's great to hear. I I really have to get going now. And he tries to get back up. You all just like push him back down <laughs> in his chair. No, You're not I, going anywhere, my little friend. I don't think that's happening, Hopkins. I <laughs> think what's actually going to happen... Is that you are going to tell us exactly what's going on here? Well, Where we yep, are... in this voice. Yes, you will speak. <laughs> you are going to tell us where Green Eye is. You are going to tell us where Anne Marie is, and you are going to tell us what the hell is going on right now. Okay. Well, I'm not. Ne you do not have to roll a persuasion check for that. This guy is <laughs> shitting his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Especially as, especially after you name dropped Green Eye. Yeah. Um <laughs> Can Hopkins just roll a Nat 20 to attempt to escape? No, he's already he lost the opportunity. When he shits plus, pants. <laughs> plus plus he's, he's gonna have between ha a barbarian and a fucking dragonborn. He not going nowhere. He would have to roll like quadruple disadvantage. I just have to ask. Did he wear his brown pants? <laughs> nope, they're blue. <laughs> oh, he's supposed to talk to her about that. They're brown now. 
<laughs> so, ah, cool. Color chasing, changing pants. Neat. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> wait. <laughs> um. So yeah, the moment you name dropped Green Eye Hopkins, you can visibly see has paled, and he's like, g -g 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 Green Eye. I, I, I haven't seen him in years. No one has seen him in years. I, then I, I grab him by the chin and I go, "You're not play stupid." <laughs> The fact that you're here, and the fact that I was told the Green Eye is here, is no coincidence. Now tell me what is going on. Um, roll. Okay, now I do want you to roll me an intimidation check. Okay. Intimidation. Oh, in, with advantage, because look at where <laughs> he is right now. Okay. All right. Intimidation. That's a plus two for me. That's a twenty-two. <laughs> And that's a 10, so 22. All right. So, he, while you're still holding his chin, he's like, he just nods and he goes like, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll talk. Let me have my croissant first. Um, you're holding onto his shoulders, but you're not holding onto his hand. So he quickly reaches over for Yip's glass of water because that's the seat you put him in. And he just chugs the whole thing. And he goes like, look. Not even gonna ask. How, how impolite. Look, you did not hear this from me. Green Eye got himself a new safe house. It's here in Lunas. He's holed up in the basement of the library. They don't even know he's there. Of course it's in Lunas. It's always in Lunas. Oh, the Where we are right now. All right. Thank you. Now, how would you like to leave this place? Uh, uh, preferably whole. No, oh, but what's to Oh, did I hear you? make a hole? What's ah! to stop you from um. going to tell Green... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, 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 and then after Yip's crack about making a hole, um... Give me a moment to roll a constitution saving throw. Wait, is he going to pee himself? I'm sorry? Is he going to pee himself? <laughs> uh, give me a moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, he rolled a six, so he faints. Oh. <laughs> yep, again! Every single time it's easy I to carry. you, you would have been you too passed out on the fan. It's fine. It's fine. We got the information we needed out of him. There's always shit in a situation wait, wait, wait. where you have capture someone. Oh. Just so that he doesn't go warn Green Eye about anything, should we, like, tie him up or something? Can we He's draw on his I have a better idea. We said we were going to go visit an old friend to, what's his name? We call him Stephen Lang, but that's not it. No, that 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 I don't have a name for him, so I'm just calling oh, okay. Stephen Lang. Okay. The dude. Well, the Stephen Lang dude. We said we were going to visit an old friend. What if we said that our friend got himself a little drunk and needed a place to crash? Oh, I appreciate that. I think that's a good idea. All yes. right. So now the question is... I like how we all got dressed up just to do this. <laughs> so now the question hey, is... Hey, man, everything's an occasion if you make it. I just got away. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank now the you, question Sugar Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. So now the question is, are you all as a full party going to take him back to the loading docks where Stephen Lang is, or are just a couple of you gonna take care of that? I think it would be better for a couple of us to take care of it and then meet up. So it's not as suspicious. Okay, so That's who so who's volunteering to take Hopkins to the Greyblades? I would say why not the Tieflings? <laughs> the Tieflings are sneaky shit half the time. Power. <laughs> All right, so Polo, do you agree to this? That's fine. All right, so for the sake of time, Hashtag we're just wonder Tieflings. So for the sake of time, we'll just say you, Eden, and Polo have successfully carried the guy. Uh, try like carrying him weekend at Bernie style. Like he's got he, sunglasses on. <laughs> he's got sun. He's got sunglasses on. Everyone thinks that this guy just got hammered way too quickly in the day. 
You had a great time, didn't you, Sockus? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna, did... I'm gonna name Does Eden leave the bag of holding with us, or thing? do we take our stuff out it's of the, the bag of holding? <laughs> Hello, we got a team name. <laughs> we have a team name? Yeah, your yeah, your team name is the instead of the Wonder Twins, it's the Wonder Tieflings. The Wonder Tieflings. Wonder Tiefs. Uh, Yip brought up a good question though. Do we just take our stuff out of the bag of holding now? Uh, you can if you want to. Yes, I would like my stuff I mean, back, I don't, so I'm I'm armed in danger. I don't see me and Eden taking too much time doing this anyway. No. So yeah, it does not. So yes, for the sake of time, we'll just say that you came and went. Stephen Lang and the Goliath Greyblade, who normally works the who normally works the landing pads. They both just kind of look at this unconscious guy you literally just dropped on their doorstep. And <laughs> and then and then you basically ding-dong ditch them and you head back uh, uptown. Girl, she's been living in an uptown. So, Girl, so, so, so for the sake of time, we'll say that you came and you went and you're, and you're back with the main party. Uh, it's now like two in the afternoon right now. What do you got? We got a productive day. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. so what have you got? What do you guys want to do? You can choose to just head straight to the library and investigate if there is indeed a basement, or you could try to prepare a little bit more. I, uh, I don't know how we can prepare. I mean, I guess we can get more weapons, but you want to get more information? Uh, I could sure. get more diamonds. Or, uh, revivify. If you'd like a little more information. It's like the Starship Troopers, would I mean, you I like to know, know more? <laughs> like, Polo, what is this, um, Green Eye? Do you remember his fighting style or anything? Uh, do I need to do a history check? Uh, yeah, give me another history check. Okay. Can I, like, almost get I actually, I hearing what Adarek said, I think that's a good idea, buying more diamonds for revivify. <laughs> Now that we're loaded. Oh, oh shit. 1500 diamond, 1500 gold worth of diamonds. Nice. 18. All right. Yip, you know that green eye? Polo. 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 Sorry. Polo. Marco. You. Kira, thank you so much for this D20. Marco. So, Polo, Polo, you remember that green eye is a master hand-to-hand -hand combat specialist. Like, if we were to get in a technical sense, Green Eye would be a monk rogue. Okay. Mostly, mostly a monk. Uh, all right, so I say he wasn't much of a weapons user for to fight with his hands. And I hate to admit it, but he was good at it. I can respect I mean, a man like really that. <laughs> As we'll Yip kind of raises okay. his own hands. <laughs> my my but, hands are registered yeah. weapons. Uh, okay, what do we do next? Do you guys just want to head over to the library? Uh, well, Adarax, didn't anybody you... Anybody have any other... Well, yeah, Adarax, let, you... let's stop by the diamond shop. Okay, uh, Adarax, do you Diamond's agree? Direct. Adarax, do you agree to this? Because you're the one who went there first. Uh, yes. Would you Would you all like to accompany me? He needs to. Sure. He's gonna go on his own. Okay. So, oh, Ar Arios, you're going off on your own. Arios is going off on his own because he's got to go to the weapon shop. He's oh. like, I'll, I'll be, I just gotta go pick up some weapons. I'll see you guys later. Wait, wait, wait. I give Arios 50 gold, and I say, buy yourself something nice. I thought you were going to say you are going to give him a kiss. I got excited for nothing. You call you call, oh, her, you call her sweet cheeks. Oh, I'll kiss him on the cheek, too. Oh. Butter him up. Uh, uh, Arios, Arios, I would like you to make me an acrobatics check. Is oh, Arios still in drag? Yes. I just want to add. Okay. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay. Full time, full time. This is his way of life now. <laughs> I still want that as a drawing. Uh, so 22. Uh, Arios, you're hovering. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
and you're hovering in the giant Victorian gown, Princess Peach style, like just above the ground. In fact, if Bro, someone were to put in fact, if someone were to put their ear close to the ground where the gown is, you could swear that they can hear a <laughs> Jetson sound effect as you just kind of float. I. Bro, float cancels. Float cancels. I'm just as a woman. The woman of my dreams loves me. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Forward smash him. Disgrace so, him. So we're first going to focus on the rest of the group as they go to the jewelry shop. Uh, Atarax, this is the shop that you went to before the first time you bought a diamond. And Josta Human has given us 300 bits. Yeah. Hey. Wow. Thanks a bit. Thanks, Josh. Um, Thanks, Benedict. And Atarax, you... <laughs> And Atarax, you recognize the shop owner of this as the very large, lavish, witch of the wastes looking math oh giant gosh. woman. And she just goes like, and she just goes, darling, you've come back to me. And then she just kind of walks oh over and goes like, oh, let me get a good look at you. And she just kind of cups I your face her. for a moment. It was, it was like, so did my diamond give you some good purpose? I still have it, of course. It's brought us nothing but good luck. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Oh, did you hear that, Every? Did you hear that, sweeties? And she walks behind the desk where she still has the box of baby mimics. Yeah, the box of baby mimics who all look like little engagement ring holders. You all are seeing this for the first time. She literally has a giant box of just little mimics that are just kind of hopping and yiping at her. That just looked like little engagement ring boxes just kind of doing this. Can I, I, I say to Ian uh, very quietly, can I put mine down this to play is with the, the rest strangest of thing I've ever seen. Am I here or am I still? Yeah, you're here. Oh, okay. Yeah, every, everyone. I say to Ian. I... Prove it. Well, uh, going on from here, I'd like to ask her to buy five more diamonds oh. Oh. of a three, 300 quality or better. 300 gold quality or better, I could say. You should I... ask Vina if it's okay for... Well, that's why I invited Miss Davina. Would that's... you care to help? Sugar. How much money is that going to be, Adorak? <laughs> five diamonds at 300 gold Per diamond value, that's going to be one thousand and five hundred gold. Carly, Carly, <laughs> you are a change, darling. <laughs> anyway, I will throw in all of my money, which is a hundred gold. All right, so Carly, you now only have to spend a hundred and fourteen, a thousand and four hundred gold. Immoral. All right. <laughs> oh, priceless. Did you mention that you're a Balmaris? How many people are in our party? Six. Six. And we already have one diamond. So it'll be five. Okay. It's a, he's doing a just in case all of us die. <laughs> I know. Just, just in case, well, we would only need, wait, so there are six of us total, so we'd need five because you can't exactly reply yourself. I'm sorry, really curly, it real curly, can. the money stickler's coming out. I <laughs> oh, Are, are no. student loans like, coming back I to you? <laughs> the one I just paid off. Um, I could okay. get paid one for me, because I'm the one that could cast it, so theoretically. I know, that's fair. All point. All right. B. I give, I give the 1,400 gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll give my hundred gold. All righty. So you literally have billions of gold, and you're being a stickler on fifty hundred. I have I have two silver left. All right. So she takes uh, five more diamonds, and she knows that Adarax that you have one because you shopped here before. But then she goes to each and every one of you like a kid trick or treater on Halloween. Where she's like, that's a diamond for you, and that's a diamond for you, and that's a diamond for you. 
And now you, you both I and Yip love you. You get a diamond. Man. You get a diamond. Everybody get a diamond. <laughs> oh, oh I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Oh. For, for any of the zoomers watching, we apologize for really making <laughs> Anyhow, I'm pretty sure everybody gets Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I'm gonna name my little mimic Oprah. <laughs> oh yeah, you each now have your own little pet baby mimic. Can I do my? Can I do an animal handling check? Would that? <laughs> Finally, Paula, you can do it. Yeah, go right ahead. This will be the. Actually, you know what? Everyone except Atarax, give me an animal handling check. Oh God, animal God. handling is like one of my strongest traits. Which is uh, so... I'm gonna have... What's my animal handling? Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. That's a 25. Woo! Not a 26. Yeah, it's not... Yeah, but... Here's the thing. One fast. Did you get a nat 20, though? Because I did. Nice. <laughs> I got a the mimic loves me. Okay, the D stands for dab. Uh, and Eden, what did you get? I got fifteen. You all succeed. 14. You all succeed. The baby mimics just instantly bond to you, and they're just like nuzzling up to you. How does I love how does it. Axel feel about that? He's jealous as well. <laughs> yeah, a Axel kind of pops his on head. That territory. Axel pops his head out of the bag and just goes like. Be nice. <laughs> so, you just nice. The spine, boss? so now with that done, we're going to move the camera over to Arios now, who decided to strike out on his own, still wearing that Pride and, Pre Pride and Prejudice dress. Um, <laughs> and you. Like a sharp dress lady right there. Yes, King. Oh, now. Get it, honey. Now this is actually a Smith shop that you that one of you has been to before, and it's run by three goblins: Dan, uh, Barry, Larry, and Danny. Um, I think that was the one that I went to. That was the one that here that uh, Eden went to. Yes. Yeah, that sounds familiar. It's still just funny though. So you see two goblins in the back, just each taking turns pounding on a sword in the background, whereas uh, Danny, the manager goblin, is up at the front counting his gold. <laughs> And then, and then he just goes like, ah, oh, hello there, ma'am. How can we help? He just kind of gives you a look realizing like, wait, are you a dude or a woman? And then he's like, hey, Danny. Gender norms. I'm whatever I want to be. <laughs> well, Gender is a construct. It's official. It's official. Arios is the ditto of the team. Wait a minute. Does that mean that if if Davina actually and Arios become a thing, does that mean that I've won Pokemon? Because essentially, I have every single Pokemon. When you, when you no, this isn't like freaking Pokemon Go, you cheating whore. <laughs> hey, when, hey, when you, hey, when you, not if, when. <laughs> when you two breed, it's just gonna make a smaller Davina. So. <laughs> Well, no, it's going to make Davina in her fallen form because that was her previously evolved Yeah, her pre-evolution before she evolved. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. still find it weird of when a Kangaskhan breeds, they hatch, and they already have a baby. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's that's already why, a mother. That's why I like the theory that Cubones are Kangaskhans. Who, who lost, didn't... The, who lost yeah, their moms. I subscribe to that theory. I like that theory. So. Yeah, but then when you breed a Marowak, then it's like a Cubone. You still have the Marowak, but the Cubone also has the skull of the mother. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get into this too much, but yeah. I just think it's funny how back in X and Y, whenever Kangaskhan would go into its X form, the Kangaskhan would not go into an X form. It would be the baby that transformed just hops out of the pouch. <laughs> also, fuck Mega Kangaskhan. That shit was busted. Anywho, 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 anywho. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, you each now have your diamonds and you each have your baby mimics. Arios, you're in the smith shop and the goblin is now addressing you like, how can we help you out today, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir? Uh, <laughs> can I hear your pronouns, please? <laughs> <laughs> sir, ma'am, uh... <laughs> uh, Patron. 
Yeah, we we can deal with. I don't know. We deal with that on a daily basis. <laughs> we just had, we just had a dark elf with spider legs just come in the other day. It was crazy. <laughs> We just have goblins all the time yeah. right now. Really yeah. quickly, what is your um YouTube? It's just Evan Bremer. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. So, Arios, what do you want? Oh, I'm just going to look at him and just be like, you know, I'm really in need of something that I can have easy access to that's not going to showing such an elegant piece like this. I mean, I, you know, I'm wondering if you can possibly make play dagger at all. Oh. We actually might have something a little bit better for you. And he quickly, oh. like, goes into a box, pulls out a cloth, and he put, and he unwraps it to show these two very slender stiletto daggers. And they already come with straps to be attached to the calves of your legs. Ick. <laughs> That's sexy as fuck. And Dizzy Quinn is just saying, just wanted to tell you all that you're amazing and I love you. We love you too, Dizzy! Even though you made me cry earlier with your TikTok videos, but I forgive you. <laughs> Carly, I'm surprised you didn't cry with mine that I posted yeah, yesterday. I didn't see that one yet. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> so anyway, Arios, are you going to go for the daggers? Oh. F in the chat. Oh, F in the chat. F in the chat. So Arios, are you going for the stilettos? <laughs> so Arios literally has to say, oh, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> so do you get them? Okay. Oh, start drag icon. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, I hear a lot of horror stories about bad DMs who don't seem to be able to handle a drag queen in their in their uh, yeah. party. So I want to I want to show that it isn't a problem at all to have a drag queen in a party. Of course not. It makes oh, everything no. better. Just wait. If, if Phoenix goes up, everyone will also be confused. Davina, are you raising your hand or are you stretching? Because typically you raise it like angled. No, I was I was doing the fist up in the air, like yes, we support <laughs> the drag community. Fuck yeah, I love drag kings. <laughs> Side note: My mom helped one of my very good friends um, learn how to walk in heels oh, Jesus when she first met him. I I need your mother to help me. <laughs> we support the drag community in this house. So. So Arios, you um, so you're getting the stilettos, uh, and the goblin says it's gonna be about uh, thirty gold. Huh? Yeah. I was in the yeah. I was in the you know. Bro, I gave you fifty oh, yeah. gold. Treat yourself. Yeah, she did give me money. She did give me money. I know. I know. <laughs> Look out. I'm trying to stack my dice right now. Don't ask me why, but it's become a challenge for me. Oh, uh, no, I do that every stream. And then yeah. I have a picture every time I get it. What? They stack their dice, Kira. Oh. Dice stacking. <laughs> Shit. Cup stacking. Dice stacking. Carly, you got to show me how you do it. Okay, I do it from the. You know what? No, I'll tell you later because it's gonna yeah. be a whole thing. Never mind. Yeah. So, Arios, are you going through with it? Yes. Okay, so you spend the thirty gold, and you now have a pair of stilettos, one to attach to each leg. All seven of them. Uh, <laughs> all seven of them. Anywho. Uh, with that done, you all collect outside of the outside of the weapon shop. You, the diamond the diamond buying takes less time than the stiletto, so you all meet up at the weapon shop that Arios now just now walks out of. Uh, still in that dress, and now a big smile on his face. This episode took a turn I was not expecting. 
<laughs> so, are you guys gonna do anything else, or shall we cut to the I library? Think I think the library. I give Ario some time. Time to go be nerds. We intimidated a bluebeard dwarf. Arios is dressed like Bayonetta. It's ridiculous. Now, Arios is dressed like... What's the name of the main woman in Pride and Prejudice? Oh, shit. Elizabeth? I'm sorry? Nerd. I should know that. I should I'm a Jane Austen nerd. Too. I should know that. I want to say Lizzie, but I don't think that's correct. Well, for now, we'll say... I... El- I'm For now, we'll say Elizabeth one. from Pride and Prejudice. So, real, real, very quick is. tangent. Elizabeth is the, the main sister. Uh, the Bayonetta <laughs> covers of Moon River and Fly Me to the Moon, hands down, some of my favorite versions of those songs. Oh, the music in Bayonetta freaking slaps. Oh, yeah. everything slaps. <laughs> yeah. Bayonetta, I would pay to let Bayonetta slap me. <laughs> I think we all would. Yeah. I mean, you just play Super Smash Brothers. Oh, God, don't remind me about Smash 4. Let's continue. Anywho. So, you, it is now like 4 p.m. The sun is slowly starting to make its descent. Um, and you make your way to the library. Um, you've been here before. This is back when you were trying to find information about the orb and the pantheons and such. And you all oh, somehow yeah, the fam- weird library. That's not actually a library. They, they let you copy information, they just don't let you actually take books from its shelves. But apparently this is the library where you all failed looking for books that were literally right in front of you. <laughs> and I wasn't there, and you all had to come back and tell me that you couldn't find anything. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Arios, you were not here for that. You, never jo- you didn't join the campaign right. yet. They were all trying to look for books... To learn more about the pantheons, and they all hey, rolled. Not like ten, eight, maybe an eleven. No, you all rolled, rolled like two, threes, and fours. <laughs> That's what it was. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. And I think one of you got a one. Was I did. me? Oh no, that was you, Kara. It probably was. So anyway, thank God you're coming here not to look for books, because that would kill you the second time around. (laughs) All right, so you guys make it into the library. Uh, The attendants there um, are walking around doing their business, like shelving books, uh, taking down notes and copies and such. One of them at the door... Uh, gives you a bow and greets you and goes like, how may we be of service? Uh, do you guys have a basement? <laughs> <laughs> right into it. Yeah, no, do, do you guys no. have a basement? Uh, are you actually asking that? Yep. You know what? Yeah. We're, yeah. we're, we're going with it this uh, time. The monk? Do you guys have a basement? Uh, the monk, not a combat monk. This is the, this guy looks more like a priest. Religious monk. monk. A religious monk, yes. Uh, he just got, his smile kind of drops for a moment. He just gives you a confused look and like, we do have a basement, but that is authorized personnel only. Why would you be interested in that? It's pro- purely where we store store the old fuss. My name, my name is Davina Belmaris. I'm here with Osha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm here you with Osha. I'm, I'm here to make an inspect- inspection. Oh, uh, you don't need to worry about that. Yeah, we're from the union. <laughs> <laughs> we're from we're from the union. You see, uh, we're from to, the um, union. Do I count as an authorized personnel? <laughs> Unfortunately, unless you actually trained with us, you are not. Authorized person. I figured. I just thought it. You out. see, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit of a monk oh myself. Everybody now. <laughs> How do you do, fellow monks? I'm a bit of a monk myself. <laughs> you know, I'm something of a scientist myself, Parker. <laughs> um, are you actually saying that to Yip? I mean, are you Yip? Are you actually saying that to the priestly monk? Uh, are you doing no, I, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm, this is a terrible know, plan. I'm here to check your basement to make sure it's up to code. I'm I'm here I'm here with the union. I'm here, I'm here to make sure it's up to code. Flash the gray blades badge. <laughs> we have got to stop letting the bird take the helm in these sort of things. <laughs> you really should. This is on you guys. Yeah. I'm here with OSHA. 
I have yeah, totally, like, totally like social anxiety. Why do you guys let me talk? Um, I, I want it. I want to go with my OSHA. I want to go with OSHA. All right. There is no OSHA. What are you doing? You don't know that. I I would like to roll persuasion. I would like actually, to roll an OSHA check. Actually, this would be more deception. Deception? Okay, I want to roll deception. <laughs> Either way, it's plus one. Can, can I give him advantage? Uh, yeah. What do you can say? What do you say? Everybody play along. What do you say everybody to keep the bit along. going? <laughs> um, I, I, dirty I don't twenty. Know. I don't dirty know. twenty. <laughs> this is a horrible <laughs> plan. I spent so long. We I didn't tell them so anything long. about this. I just what? went in and did this. I didn't tell them about yeah. it. I didn't tell them my plan. I just did it. Forget the advantage. He doesn't need it now. Never mind. Uh, Wait. Advantage? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't get <laughs> I never give up. I can't look at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a horrible plan. We spent so long in this episode <laughs> trying to find clothes and get Thing, little mimics, and we never came up with a plan of how we were gonna get into this damn library. We're gonna, and then I just do it, thing. and then I just do it. And you rolled a dirty hey, I'm with twenty. Osha. So you know and what? After all that, he rolls a twenty. Uh. Okay. Um. <laughs> yep. I mean, Polo. If you can just look stressed out for a moment again, someone take a screen cap. I want this to be the cover of the episode <laughs> when it gets when it gets posted on YouTube. So, so Polo, if I so Polo, if I can have you just look like yeah, hold it for a second. Yeah. Hey, I got it. What? I got it. What did what did it taste like, Liam? Not good, does it? <laughs> All right, so. Uh, hi, my name is Yip. Wunderkun? Yep. yep, you muted, like, the entire middle of that <laughs> sentence. What did you say? Uh, hi, I'm Yip. I'm with Osha. I'm a safety fan. One, uh, Wunderkun? That's uh, a Brian David Gilbert reference. <laughs> uh, the priestly library monk kind of looks a little shocked for a moment and he goes like well if you if if there are things that need your inspection i i i will not stop you i will make sure that the other attendants are not in your way um if you mu if you must go if you must go to the basement i do believe you can go there by heading to that uh black door over there Thank we you. don't. We don't Can deserve this win. No, 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 no. We didn't earn Can it. Can I do an inside check on that? I don't trust that shit. Okay. Can I do an inside okay. Check? Can I give her advantage for this one? Then? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not in this case. You can do your own insight check, though. Okay. Well, that's good. And don't I get advantage? I was supposed to get advantage for another roll, wasn't I? Oh yeah, because you guessed the correct show. So you know yeah. what? You get advantage. Oh uh, well. You know what? Uh, never mind. I might not need to now. I so. got a nat one. Oh. oh, okay, never mind. Okay, okay, I will. Th then I will. This, right. this monk is the pinnacle of honesty. Uh, but now, it, Yip, why don't you? But now, Polo, why don't you try? Why it's do insight, we try? Right? Yeah, yeah it's insight. Insight. All right. All right, that is. That <laughs> is a, a dirty 20. And. Try for a nat. Yeah. And that is a six. My headphones eight. died. So, oh no. So dirty twenty. All right. Um, he's telling the truth. I mean, the basement is just behind that black door. Okay. All right. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Thank you. All right. So you guys, uh, you you go through the black door, and the inside of this room seems like a like a maintenance hallway it's just kind of the back rooms where you know they don't really pay as much attention keeping nice and such uh you go down a single hallway for a bit and you do see a set of stairs you take those down and you are now inside a rather large storage space there's just like boxes and stacks of books and parchments and so many other little like little artifact knickknacks here 
Um, paddy wax? The, ro- the room Make itself, aside from you all, it seems pretty empty. Um, you all can look around the room if you want, though. <laughs> can I do an inside check on the room? Can that I would be a perception. Investigation. That would be an investigation oh, check. Oh, I'm sorry. Insight. Can I do an investigation check? Yes. Can, can I? Can I do an investigation do a check? Yes, I said yes. Investigation. Can I do perception? Hey. Instead of investigation? I got a... 17. All right, the room itself is, it's just made of normal, like, bricks and stuff. I got a dirty 20, (laughs) if that matters at all. Uh, Both of you are doing some pretty good investigations. Uh, You you just kind of look around the the boxes, the walls. Not a heck of a whole lot here. This seems like just a storage space. Yip, however, as you pass by a wall, you feel a very faint breeze. Uh, yep, uh, kind of feels the breeze and it's like, the breeze, it calls to me. <laughs> no, uh, he's like, is uh, it, is hey it guys, time there time might now? be something over here. Can we check the orb, just to make sure? Uh, yeah. Eden, you want to check the orb? Sure, I'll do just, that. Just to, just to check. Okay. Uh, the orb itself, because you, you've never, you guys, you horrible people, you've never checked, you, you never checked the orb after it basically digivolved and helped you in that fight, because then after that fight, the orb went dark? Oh, yeah. Okay, you all never- In my sleep, though? Cause... So much has happened. Yeah. And we never checked the orb. Because uh, kind of me in my sleep, I'm so confused. However, the good news is that the orb has seems to have gone back to its original luster. Um, and you do feel just an aura of curiosity coming out of the orb. It doesn't seem overall frightened by its surroundings. Which um, which is a telling sign that there's probably no other gods afoot. Oh, well, that's good to know. At least. While we're standing here just looking, can I uh, ask the orb if they're doing okay after that big fight? Uh, go right ahead. Cool. Are you okay, little one, after the fight with that happened a while ago? You look at the orb, and typically, like, back then, you would only see, like, morphing, bright, green, glowing mist and fog swirling around in the orb. This time, however, that mist does seem to coalesce into a slightly more solid image of the owlbear's face. And it's looking right up at you. And it's smiling in its own way. And it's kind of nodding. <laughs> I love oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, monster. Mama loves you. So, uh, now you all head over to Yip. Because he is telling everyone that he might have found a false wall. So, what are you all doing? Uh, all right. <laughs> All right, I just don't talk to push her. I push her. <laughs> I push her pull on the wall, depending on which way it goes. Kind of. <laughs> just by touching the wall, it instantly spins around, and you get trapped on the other side. <laughs> just me. All right. All right. Bet. Bet. Hey see? guys, I think it's a fake wall. I call through the fake wall. Yeah, what they hear is, girls, I think it's a fake wall. Yeah? Where'd you go? Did we just watch him go through the wall? Yes, you all just watched him go through the wall. Tamina <laughs> <laughs> has no object permanence anymore. <laughs> object permanence? Never heard of her. Yeah. You put Davina in a car I that goes through a tunnel, and the moment you come out of the tunnel, Davina's like... <laughs> <laughs> she rolled a one on the object permanence check. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so uh, what do you guys do? I have no object permanence. Um, well, I guess we try to pull the door open. Okay, um... 
now this time, because now that you actually know it's there, Polo, because you're the one who suggested it, Polo, I want you to give me a strength check. Not oh, great. One of my worst attributes. One of them. Twelve. Okay. You you push and you budge, and you actually do get the false wall to spin just a little bit. Um, it's not quite open all the way, but just enough for people to start fitting through. Can I try and push it a little bit more? Uh, yeah, you give me a strength check with advantage because Polo already kind of got it started for you. Oh, I was supposed to roll with advantage. Damn it. Whatever. You, you, no, already, you used up your advantage. Um, all right. What is my strength? Hopefully good. You know, Carly, you can roll your dice on your desk so that you don't have to turn I around. Can? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Give me one minute. The sarcasm is real with Evan. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just kind of noticed I you. A, I got an 18. All right. You push it all the way. So now it's fully open and not spinning. And you guys see, yep, right, standing right there. I'm what burp. took you guys so long? Mm -hmm. Oh. We were trying to figure out the wall, apparently. So can we examine the room that we are now currently in? Uh, well, it's not a room before you. It's a darker, it's a much darker hallway that's lit by lanterns lining the wall. Oh, never mind. Can I use my fire to light my own way? Uh, you certainly can. Okay, so I do that. Does that light up the entire Wait. thing? Because I do have light, which will, like... No, it's only yeah. gonna, it's only gonna light up, like, the, the first, like, 15 feet before you. Okay, never mind then. I'm so glad I rolled that 19 at the beginning of this episode. Otherwise, we probably would have not even gotten this far. <laughs> so. Well, okay. So instead of using, uh, sorry, Evan, but like, Polo, we do have thaumaturgy, which do make uh, lanterns brighter. So if you use that, you can. Okay. Just yeah. so you don't use uh, like a spell in combat. Yeah, I mean, you you understand speed flex better than I do, so it's like. Yeah. So <laughs> Why don't we? Why don't you use that? He, writer? I mean, he has Firebolt, which is a cantrip, so it's a spell. Yeah, but that's an offensive uh, spell, so, it's so it's I'm just like, why would I use that? Like, yeah. So, so what are you guys doing? I'm gonna use thaumaturgy. How long is the hallway? Okay, yeah. so Eden casts thaumaturgy with a Thanos snap of her of his fingers. The lanterns that line the hallway get like three times brighter, and this place is now just. And it lasts for a minute. So you guys, I'm assuming okay. you're not wasting time. You head down the hallway. Um, and before you is a set of large red double doors. Right row. Okay, does anybody have the the Zelda boss key? Oh, well, wait, I was going to ask, is it locked? Like, is there a lock or anything? Uh, you can check to see if it's locked. All right, what is that? Like, perception? I try the door. Uh, that would be... Okay, so Yip... I try to open the door. Okay, so Yip, you try to open the door, oh and God. you see um, the handle does jiggle, but it's not opening. So it must be... Ario, locked. it's your time to shine, my boy! Open lock sesame! Key. That's all I got. <laughs> Ario, lockpick that shit, motherfucker. So, Ario, so are you going to lockpick it? Yes. All right. Okay. So, sleight of hand. Uh -oh. Yeah. What'd you roll? What? What? Nat one. Nat one? No, I think she's saying nat 20. Cause... Yeah. That, looks yeah. like... <laughs> that looks like a 20. All right. Yeah. So, Yip, yep. or so Arios. Why do I keep saying Yip? Because <laughs> Yip's been like, Everybody, oh, no. it's easier Everyone to say than Yip. any of our other names. So, <laughs> Arios. We are all, we are all, we are all I just realized, I just realized through all this, Mistral's just been standing in the background doing nothing this whole episode. <laughs> yeah, she, Worst she, OSHA Mistral's member. Contributes nothing to OSHA. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> all right, so, oh. Arios. Izzy, we still love you. All right, so, Arios, you 
perfectly pick the locks and the door and the door swings open vi this door swings open silently and you all now see before you a deserted but very lavish looking it it kind of looks like a a large dining room or a meeting room with a large round table in the center like like do you guys remember the one scene in the untouchables where Al Capone does the whole baseball monologue before he hits the guy with the baseball bat. Yeah. It's that kind of room. Uh, Definitely seen Untouchables. I, I haven't seen the Untouchables, but I think I get what you're going. Yeah, yeah I know. I understand like, the... I get what you're saying, but... Yeah. Ye. All right, I'm so... I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Um, so you you venture into the room, and it, seemed des it seems deserted and a little dimly lit. The thaumaturgy spell didn't reach this far. Um... Can I cast one? Uh, you can go ahead and try that. Uh, okay. Do I have to roll for it? No, it's an instant. No. It's a it's a cantrip. You don't need to roll for it. It just okay. it just works. It's at instant okay. speed. <laughs> Hardy hard hard. All right. So you cast a little light, and it kind of zooms forward, lighting up the area a bit. This is a very nice like. If this were a dining room, this would be like six star restaurant right here. Um, These doomsday preppers are living nice. <laughs> do, do we see a tiger man? Uh, you, you don't see definitely a... lives up to OSHA standards. So anyway, yeah, I can definitely say I I pull out a clipboard out of nowhere. Yep. <laughs> so a silly episode. So with that said, uh, do you guys move forward? You investigate? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. No reason not to. Okay. Can I I, I well, you're all moving forward. I need you all to give me athletics checks. Yeah. Bro, Raggy. Hey, I, I, um, my my proficiency yeah. is half white, half black. What does that mean? Oh. <sighs> For athletics, <laughs> like instead of a full black dot, it's half black, half white. That I think is expertise. You okay. if it's expert if it's expertise you get double proficiency. Okay, which well, should it, already be. It's not a said circle. It's not a circle around the dot. It's the the dot is half black, half white. Oh, I have no. That's clue. Hang on, maybe I can find out. Well, while, I mean, while, while, oh, oh, half on proficiency. It next to it, does it have? Does it have proficiency? Okay. If you're if you're rolling the dice on D and D Beyond, just go ahead and roll the dice. And okay. whatever it yeah. it automatically right. will calculate. Athletics. Hey Evan. Yeah. Dirty twenty. Okay, how many of you roll? One of those points. How many of you roll below a fifteen? Adarax, Eden. What about you guys? I rolled a natural twenty. I rolled an eighteen. Okay, so the people that did not roll below a fifteen. Uh, you all successfully just coincidentally kind of moved out of the way while everyone who did roll below a 15, all of the sudden, this giant iron cage just shoots out of the ground and closes at the top. Wonderful. Oh, well, that's a predicament. All of, all of the lights now suddenly turn back on and just coming out of the woodwork from various other doors, you see... All of these other guys, like humans, elves, dwarves, and they're all aiming like crossbows at you. And then... Well, this is a predicament. And Shit. then, suddenly landing down on top of the table, you see a drow with a long black coat and a very long rifle-styled crossbow. And yet, hey, he's an actual drow this time? <laughs> he's an actual drow this time. And Davina gets the vapors. <laughs> I love Hold on, I have music for this. So, never mad before. Yip, you recognize this guy as the guy that you saw kill that one guy during Polo's date. You recognize the extra oh, long gun. Okay. You recognize the gun and Polo. Now that you actually see this guy, you know you recognize him as well. This guy, this guy is known as Francouche. 
and he was known mm. as one of the most expert marksmen who also who ever worked for the mafia ever. From Kush! Y Yip is a uh, kind of wild western style, kind of hovering a hand over his uh. Yeah, three enforcers. Uh, meter hammer. Yeah, three enforcers walk up to you with crossbows aimed at your head. What about us in jail? Uh, what are you doing here, you bastard? Oral doubles. Uh, Francouche just kind of gives you a hard stare for a moment. His coat is like closed, and you can only see like this. Like his coat is covering his nose and his mouth. He I'm just kind of. He Sorry. just he just kind of stares at you for a moment before you before you all hear this. <laughs> the slow clap. And, it, and everyone just kind of turns above to a balcony level in the room. And you see, in a very nice white button-up top with rolled-up sleeves and suspenders, a very swole tiger tabaxi with an emerald okay, hipster. <laughs> with an emerald for an eye. And he just goes... Too good for just a normal prosthetic eye. Shake. Yeah, he couldn't have just got a glass eye. He just had to be extra. So and he and he <laughs> just smiles with that with a very fangy grin. Bolo, it's been so long. He leaps off of the balcony and he lands ever so daintily on the ground. Like it, he did, not a superhero landing, just straight. But it doesn't cause him any pain. And yet he's looking at you like long lost family. Like I haven't seen you since you've done time. How's it going, buddy? Well, it seems I'm in the same position I was when you last saw me. Ah, uh, yeah, unfortunately. That was definitely troubled times, but hey, you know what? I'm willing to look past five years. So, what brings you here? Well, I was going to ask you the same question of what you were doing at the Greyblades headquarters. Or rather, what your men were. Ah, uh, yeah, you see, I caught sight of you, Polo. Why didn't you tell me that you finally got out of jail? You never write, you never call, you never magic mirror. Like, I've just been sitting here just waiting to hear you come out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> Yip turns to Polo. Wait, you're gay? I thought we were rescuing your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually, but actually. <laughs> so, unfortunate. So, unfortunately, I had to take some actions in order to get your attention because I wanted to see you again. Business is business. And, hey, I actually have a little bit Let's of business forget. that I wanted to discuss with you. Oh, should we, like, step out of the room? Like, this seems kind of personal. Like, that seems kind of... We're still in the bars. <laughs> you're, you're, where's, where's, the, where's the halfling girl? Ah, so she is your main squeeze. Uh, he j he just kind of claps his hands for a moment, oh, no. and then over to your left you see blinds suddenly like roll up, and a room lights up on the other side of glass, and you see an unconscious Anne Marie just like lying down on what looks like an operating table. Oh shit! Oh fuck! And then, and then you see oh, this one. Turn of the Joker shit. Ew. And then you see this crow Aracaqua, who is just like. Uh, he just kind of walks <laughs> over. He walks over. He wears a nice suit. He kind of he kind of like takes his half hat off to see you. He can see you there, and he just kind of puts his hat down on a nearby table, takes a cloth, rolls it, and you see like all manner of scalpels, corkscrews. But little knives and such. Oh, but, okay. Now, Yip, Yip sees the air conqueror and is like, cousin? Uh, <laughs> can I roll deception? <laughs> well, no, it's not gonna... <laughs> unfortunately, it's not gonna work because I'll just reveal Idiot. this. It's a one-way mirror. Oh, uh, damn it. Uh, however, uh, the crow with a smile, he just kind of like bows to you and then lowers the blinds again. And Green Eye just kind of turns back to you with a smile and he just goes, So, I think the answer may be obvious, but I'll ask anyway. Do I have your attention? You. I'm actually kind of bored. I think I'm going to head out. <laughs> yeah. Yip, uh, Yip starts turning to leave. Wait, hold on, hold on. Arios is trying to say something. I'm sorry. Arios is muted. 
Can Ariel just like jump in and be like, hold on, hold on, and just like slap Polo on the arm? I thought I was your main squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you can't do that. You're in. You're in the bars. Can I try to pull the bars? <laughs> like, oh, 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 massive cage. <laughs> I look over at Arios and I'm like, "How is this helping?" I, know, I think I'm serious. <laughs> My strength is yeah. pretty fucking solid. Can I pull the bars to see if I can get out? Uh, you can certainly try. Yip turns to Polo and slaps his arm. I thought. Before you ever get a chance, Davina, an arrow whizzes past your cheek, causing a small cut. Anne Marie is oh, on the verge oh, of getting tortured to death. You made me waste a nat 20 for that. <laughs> Anywho. Arios. Arios. Can, can Arios then. Um. Arya seduces Gray. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna have him cast Minor Illusion to whisper to Polo, "Shut up, shut up." I'm trying to see if I can get her out of this. <laughs> shut up. Is that what you're gonna do? Yes. Sure. All, All right. right. Fine. <laughs> All right, so how do you try to get out from the cage? I look over at Arios and I'm like, fine, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Green Eye just kind of looks confused like, hey, did we kidnap the wrong girl? <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually and then just- he looks back at Arios and- Is that even a girl? And he's just like- uh, Green, Green Eye looks over at Arios and looks this one's got more delicate features than the halfling. <laughs> I, 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 I look at Arias and I'm just like I'm trying to help out. Oh gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well <laughs> Well in any case, Polo, I just want to know, do I have your attention? Fine. What do you want? Very well. He he takes a chair from the big round table and he just kinda sits down on it. A, a quick little enforcer quickly scuttles over with a leg rest. Is this beast stars? Pretty much. <laughs> this oh guy, my God. this guy is straight out of B stars. Um, he, he, al he also he also <laughs> pulls a cigar out of his like out of his pocket, and some guy just lights it with a small little fire spell, and he goes like, "All right, Polo, I'm not gonna waste your time because I know you're a busy man." He just kind of gestures over to where Anne Marie is stored right now. So here's what I so here is my proposition for you. I'm in the middle of making my own empire here. Oh, no. I've got the money, I got the resources, but I don't quite have the recognition. So, in order for me to get said recognition, I need to do something. Something big. Something that I want you and possibly your friends, if they're willing, to help me with. One big job. You help me with this, then I'll make sure all of you get out of here scot-free, and your lovely little lady friend, darling as she is, will be returned to you without a scratch. All you have to do is just say yes to the job. I chose the perfect music for this. Can I check? <laughs> yeah, you did. I would also like an insight check. I want to do an insight check. Wait, I want to say something. Kira, what did you want to say, hon? I thought I was going to ask, can I do an inside check to see if he's actually telling the truth? Because <laughs> I get skeevy feelings from him. Can can I do an inside check to check, like, the homoerotic tension between the two? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think... You, 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 like, don't, you don't need an inside check for that. You don't yeah. need that. It is hey! there, but, like, I want to make sure. Evan, is that okay? I've you had this yaoi before. Wait, hold on. Too many people are talking at once here. Is it okay if I do the inside check to see if he's telling the truth? You can go right ahead. Okay, thank you. I got a 19 on my homoerotic inside check. <laughs> it, can I tell if Green Eyes is gay for Polo? I need to know. Green Eye is asexual. Ah, uh, boo! No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> he's yeah, but... Okay, is it homo romantic then? I was about to say, just because someone's asexual doesn't mean they can't have romantic feelings for anybody. 
It has to be somebody that they have like a very emotional connection with. What if that's Polo to Green Eye? That's not a. That's not asexual. That's demisexual. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I always get those mixed up. I apologize to anybody and watching. Everyone, I'm shut up. Eden, what did you roll? I rolled a 16. <laughs> you have no clue if this guy is lying can, or not. Can I Can I do one? Because I was the one who was given the offer. Uh, Yeah, you can certainly do it. Okay, because I've probably got the best insight check, like, stats. So. Hmm. <laughs> Son of a bitch! All right. Um... <laughs> All right. Your mother is around. A Do you kiss your mother with that, with that mouth? I would like the mother in chat to answer that question for me. I, I was gonna make it. I was gonna make a joke class, but I won't. Um, eleven. Uh, you also have no idea if he's being legit or not. You can at least tell that he seems sincere about offering you a position for this job that he's talking about. But beyond that, you have no clue what he's planning. Right. He is dancing so I have a question. Oh, Bert, are you? I, I, 22 on insight check. You have no idea if he's <laughs> telling the truth okay. or not. <laughs> no one's going to know. Oh, you. Missile, you you want to this this guy, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you this right now. This guy has like Princess Azula levels of lying skills. He just He's, I, I, Yip raises his I hand. Can we hear what the job is, perhaps? Green Eye kind of looks at the bird, and he just kind of gives you a look like, hmm, possibly fried chicken, maybe. Ow! Hey, I mean. But he didn't actually say life. that. He didn't actually say that. He's just kind of looking at snap. you. Uh, hey, Polo, ask what the job is. <laughs> you already asked. Yeah, this Polo no asked. He, he, he didn't seem to answer me. I'm, I'm not, not going to answer. Well, he was going to. He was going to. And then everyone oh, okay. just started talking. Uh, Green Eye just kind of looks at Yip and just kind of shrugs from him and goes like, you know, that's fair. You always got to check what's under the carriage first. Very well. There's a, there is a noble here by the name of Milton. And he and he is known for collecting a rather wild assortment of things, and I am turning this guy into Christopher Walken. <laughs> this guy is unfucking believable. I had a watch. This guy goes by the name of what? Milton. And he's a noble here in Lunas who's known for the most wild assortment of items. <laughs> items. Across the world. I'm sorry, Ellen, <laughs> can you please give him a different voice? Because I can't take him seriously. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Peter <laughs> Pan is from the mother. The party is just bowled over laughing. <laughs> Why are you all laughing at me? Hey, folks, skew the Question, is there a watch up your ass? <laughs> Anywho. Uh, there's, there's this guy by the name of Milton. Has a huge, massive collection of various items. Very rare. Very magical items. The job is simple. We're going to rip him off for everything he's got collected down there. A simple robbery gig. All of these mooks here, well, they're good, but they're not quite at your level, Polo dear. So, what I propose is you, me, and a couple of your your of your little friends here. You help me ri you help me rob this guy blind of his treasure vault. We get out of there unscathed. You never see me again. And you get your lovely little Anne Marie back. I'm sure that's a fair trade. I would have known one thing. <laughs> oh, of course, I'm always willing to have questions here. It's not a question, it's a promise. Oh. I'm taking this deal. But if you betray us at any point, you are going to wish that you would kill me at this moment. 
<laughs> Green Eye just starts Ooh. laughing, and then he like gives you a huge yeah. slap on the back, going, "There's the polo I remember working with." No, he's gone. This is a better polo. Ah, oh, well, let's see if this better Peter polo's does. got some better skills. All right, boys. Uh, the cage around the people who rolled sucky rolls uh, sinks, <laughs> sinks back into the ground, and you're all free again. Yeah, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> and Green Eye just turns back to Bo and goes like, See? I can be reasonable. So then, I hope you all are getting ready. We're hitting this place tonight. Oh, fuck. And that's, yeah, and that's where we're going to end tonight's session. <laughs> I would just like to say that if you guys ever encounter uh, this is no way to treat an OSHA Asian. <laughs> I, I would, this is no way to treat people. <laughs> I'm just saying. Very rude. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. It, it, it was intended to be a more edgy episode, but then it became silly. Yeah. And then, and then it became uh, serious again. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us and watching us either here or on YouTube. This will be put up on YouTube most likely sometime tomorrow. Hashtag ride the spider. Hash, the hash, hashtag the drider rider. Follow us on the Son of the Wilds official Instagram. Yes. Run by yours truly. It is actually called Song of the Wilds Official on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, yeah. thank you so much, and we will hopefully be seeing you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.